Hello everybody and welcome back to another Saint stream. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias. I'm joined by Daniil Betterson McGee. The one and only, you know, I feel like it wasn't very long ago we were standing at this very desk for another big event, but today we have <laughs> an event that's big in and of its own respects. We have Seaval Top 16. We got the Varsity St. Clair Saints going against San Jose State University, and it's going to be one hell of a match, I'm sure. Yeah, and this ain't just any San Jose State University. Oh, no, it's not. The blue team. Oh, <laughs> the blue team. A very good team. They won against West Virginia, too. Okay, oh. that's actually impressive. And the Saints also won, too. So two very good teams. You know, if they're seated this highly, you know that this is going to be a good match as we get further and further through this winner's bracket. These games are only going to get better and better. Yeah, like when you get to this point of any kind of competition, you whittle down not necessarily the weak teams, but as you get deeper in the tournament, you'll get the stronger and stronger and stronger team. So each game going forward through this tournament is bound to be a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting than the last. If we also just look through this bracket a little bit more, you'll see a lot of 2-0s, actually. Actually, no, it is a good, healthy amount of 2-1s, 2-0s. Winthrop also getting a 2-0. Blinn as well. Not too surprised, but I'm also noticing Northwood actually lost their oh. game against USC Esports. Usually Northwood is one of the teams that consistently gives ours a challenge in Valorant, but seems they have met their match and are out of things here, or at least in the winner's side. I'm not sure if this one has a loser's bracket, but at the very least, we won't be seeing Northwood in the winner's side anymore. Yeah, we will not be seeing Northwood for a while unless the Saints, unfortunately, fall in this game today. But going forward, I think it's majority 2-0s across the board. I'm only seeing one or two 2-1s, two so I think now we're whittling it down, much like Charles Darwin's survival of the fittest. We're getting down to the best of the best. Absolutely. And speaking of the best of the best, once again, going into this game today against San Jose State University Blue, I'm sure the Saints have been consistently <laughs> calculating and concocting strategies that will help them get an advantage over their opponents. Uh, in going into this game, I know the Saints have been doing a lot of playing around the world actually i believe they just <laughs> recently came back from their land tournament mm -hmm. in texas they emerged victorious we now have a big gray trophy sitting in the nexus now it's hard <laughs> to miss if you've ever walked by here you'll definitely notice it if you ever take a stroll through the campus but <laughs> it is just one of the very many accolades that our teams are consistently winning and they're going to win even more accolades here but you know you can't just jump right to the end right to the grand finals i'm sure they would love to do that i'm sure every team would love to do that but they have have to go through these motions here but you know we expect the saints to win they're on a big win streak they're riding the highs mm -hmm. but you know it's always a room for a fall you know pride comes True. before the fall so maybe san jose will be the king slayer here absolutely if there's one thing i know for sure though is that team might not have a lot of pride i know coach owen doing a great job making sure these guys have no pride at all the way he <laughs> talks to them i'm joking uh but just watching the team walk into their room just a little bit earlier it seems that they're already peppy energetic ready to go and you always love to see that in a team so i'm sure that however this match goes they will be very energetic very lively and at least least very loud uh, as usual that's the one thing you can always bet on with these teams and i we haven't casted valorant in quite a, a little million. while yeah a little bit of a hot million here so i know last i heard clove was unable to unable to be played the new agent i don't know if that's changed because i think they're so strong it might have even been banned out by some leagues so might see that come into play in case there's some changes or anything but i think we'll still see the good standard valorant yeah a meta knight situation you know, <laughs> exactly too powerful just get rid of it i don't want to deal with this do you want to deal with this no all right no one has to do with it anymore um one of those situations those decisions have to be made eventually but as everybody's getting ready to go into the lobby before we send it to a quick break you know any closing thoughts any Anything you're expecting to see here or anything you're not expecting to see? What would truly surprise you going to this game? What would truly surprise me is if the Saints lost a pistol round because they've really improved upon oh, that. That's true. So I think they're going to win the pistol rounds. They're going to keep this consistent, and I think they'll have a good first game. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with game one.
everybody and welcome we are here on map one and that map being bind st Clair college varsity team starting on the defense well san jose state is starting on the attack already we're seeing some pretty classic standard picks coming out from both teams nothing too surprising uh, i think the way they want to play this is just want to play it by the book pretty straightforward pretty sure the the agents that the saints are kind of highlighting right now are probably the ones that they're going to lock in they got all bases covered and i think these teams are ready to rumble one thing i do want to comment on is the fact that san jose is hovering the reina which is an interesting choice it dominates in uh, low elo but in higher elo we rarely ever <laughs> see reina be picked say? it's more of an ego pick I think that as long as you're comfortable in whatever you're playing, you'll be able to make it work to the, any degree of effectiveness. If In any case, I think at most what this kind of tells us about San Jose State University is they really want to get aggressive with those confrontations. And if they have the choice between playing passively, playing safely versus otherwise, I think they're always going to take the option of aggression. They're going to take the route of most resistance. And I always love to see that in a team. Let's see it as well, and as we see, Saints starting on the defense here. You always want to get as many rounds as you can here on the defense. A lot of people find a lot more comfort there, especially with them picking Deadlock, a more defense-focused agent. They want to try and rack up as many rounds as they can here, because it's going to be a lot harder, especially with that Deadlock. Not going to have too much utility on the attack. We see three of them stacking Huko, one of them over on A, and one more holding the other point on B. B long. It looks like it's going to be a full send over to B. San Jose. They're slowly making their way up there. Right now, the Saints are actually wrapping around. They find a flank getting two picks on Smiley. Complimentary of the Saints. Two more going the way of the Saints. Smiley with the third instinct with one. And now we got eyes on the last member of San Jose State University, and it's not going to be there for very long. Saints have already dropped one. I think they could pretty comfortably make it through this round without dropping another one, which would be very good for them going to the next one. But seems like things are still going to taken slow and with the Saints taking round one I guess you know you're not gonna have to get surprised this time around Saints did end up winning the pistols so they've been practicing yeah it's gonna be Yuri here trying to make this as expensive as he can dodges the flash now has to take on four of the Saints they all know where he is they're all approaching he finds one looking for another but he does not land it but hey found his pick beautiful very well done coming out from Saints losing two going into this next round they're gonna have a lot of money to work with and of course the convention is you lose game one or lose uh you win round one you win round two of course there's always room for error here and the Saints might be able to drop this one if they aren't too careful against especially against a team of this caliber but it's going to be difficult for them to try to work something out and uh, if they are able to kind of trick out a round from the Saints I'd be very impressed to see it exactly it's always this round that counts the most you always want to get that guaranteed second win or else you know, it really messes up your economy after winning the first round the con going in with a blast pack getting the boom bot prep sending it in really clearing out that U-Haul area He's going to take slowly, move over to support Caillou here. He's in there in CT side, but he gets one right back. Gets the trade with Caillou there. Now it's a 4v4 situation. The planter is going down. Two of them going U-Haul. Going to go back over. Going to hold this one relatively long, which is an interesting pick as Giza has a rifle. Getting them all from long range. Getting a 4k to end the round. Very well played by the Saints. Giza getting a nice 4K, really showing his stuff. And Saints are going to only lose one there, dropping Caillou, I'm pretty sure. But heading into the third round, confident and, of course, most importantly, wealthy. So, in fact, I think they're just going to buy a share for Caillou, allow him to recover a little bit of his money while still being effective. And it seems that San Jose State University is going to probably go for a full buy. At least I'm going to assume so. Yep, getting the Vandals. Everybody's ready to go. And now they're going to be waiting, probably going to push over onto the A site, but it seems the Saints are ready for it. They got the Viper wall up as well, and they already have Caillou watching the angle, and that's basically as good as it gets for you, because you will not need to worry about anything if he's holding your site. He's going to be watching it down now, and now they're going to be looking for an opportunity to push up, but they're going to get deterred a little bit by the... Their utils are going to be well, used well. 
But they're gonna use one of the dogs to try to find any kind of information, but they're not gonna get too much. Taking the alt orb, and now they're forced to be in a little bit of a passive stalemate situation here for San Jose. Yeah, this is an interesting scenario. The Saints, they have some decent guns, but now San Jose with that loss bonus, they have the up on them with, in terms Launching of the rifles. Keys are going to land down some of these smokes. Khan going to move forward, try and make some room through here. For the first initiate going in on that rain of blind. Gets a lot of space, but there's so much smoke on this point, it doesn't even Ooh. matter. But Kai finds one with the Sheriff going to be you. taken down, but he found his pick. What I tell you, Kai with the Sheriff is a threat. It's like a sentry gun in TF2. He'll always lock on, find his target he is eventually gonna fall however getting sapped out by instinct also gonna fall headshots gonna find him smokes dissipating now the action's really picking up spikes down saints have a little bit of time to work with here but the giza not gonna put on a show for us like he did in the last round gonna fall there as he tried to make some progress onto the site seth is gonna be working with his teammate to try to find some ground they're gonna start to defuse smiley coming around the corner but he's gonna fall seth the last man standing for the saints he's gonna find one but taken down before he can do more damage than he already did and that's gonna be the first round going to Saint, San Jose State University. Wow, that Sky had one HP left in the health bar. That could have been a completely different story if that that Sky was not there. Now, San Jose going to get the ball rolling with one round in, but I think St. Clair did save quite a bit of money there. They're going to have enough to at least afford a rifle or two. Yeah, they're going to be working with everything they can here. The Saints still relatively comfortable, lofty goals here, and their pick to uh, just give Caillou a bit of a leftover gun from that previous one seems to be paying off, because now he should have at least some money to match their eco. But as they're going into this next round, the Saints hopefully playing a little bit more aggressive, and you can see that now as they're peeking through the Viper wall. Hopefully they'll recognize that the site's clear. They're going to have an opportunity to make a push going up, and they can make something of it. Util's going to go down to to deter them, slow them down just a little bit. But as they're walking up now, they're going to find a little bit of an opening out to be in San Jose State University. I think they're emboldened. I think they're ready. I think they're feeling comfortable. But no, never mind. I might have spoken a little too soon. They're going to go push back, go walk through mid once more. I think they might even try to push through mid or they're just committing to rotate through the back of A. I think they're going to go for mid because at least there is going to be slightly easier. They don't have to worry about the Viper wall using the Sky Dog to get some vision. I'm not sure what they saw. With it, but no, they find the back of instinct, and now they're gonna go full force and coming up from behind. Oh, but he wasn't ready, they didn't see him. My mistake, and they're gonna go for the plant, San Jose State University. But I think it's gonna get stopped out. The Saints have been putting on a good resistance, and I think Seth might be taking that teleporter over to offer support to his team. But in the meantime, San Jose State University, they're still locked down, they still can't quite find their way onto a site but the reinforcements are now coming for the saints yeah time is ticking 20 seconds left on the clock they need to move quick they find one you know the score line, but he gets evened out right back as giza takes them back in the lead using the ult to push them all the way they're not gonna have enough time now only seven seconds remaining he's gonna have to hop on the point but no he's gonna choose to try and save this rival and save his life and i mean look at his teammate that brimstone only getting out with i think 10 10 HP is absolutely insane. Well, yeah, well, 10 HP is all you need to make it back home nice and healthy. They'll heal you up. They'll patch you up. It doesn't matter how many bullet holes you got. And, of course, that means he gets to save his money and keep that gun. That's the most important thing than anything in this game. 3-1 to one now. The Saints using that smart ultimate to force San Jose State back and really make it impossible for them to find their way into the point. Going into this next round, I think lessons learned from both teams are to be decisive in any action you take. San Jose waited just a a little bit too long in that last one. It's a little bit too long, but the Saints are now going to be in the lead here. Now pushing into the bathroom, he's going to collect the alt orb. Not going to have enough for the showstopper just yet. But now, throw a nade, try and stop this. A really aggressive push from the Saints. I think that might work out in their favor as there's so much setup from them there. But a lot of them are set up right for that A push go either way right now they have their cypher pushing up B hookah to try and take some ground maybe find any stragglers any rotators 
Now they're still gonna commit to this A push. It didn't work out last time. I think he's Ooh, gonna move quicker, but no instinct. Gonna get a double kill and shut that right down. That's just excellent marksmanship coming out from him there. Patience is a virtue. He hears the dog coming out, takes it down immediately, and uses that blast pack to get him out of danger. Does he know that one's around the corner? I don't think he does. Either way, he's gonna play as if they are. That's how you make sure you're prepared. Taking out the bazooka, ready to go, ready for anything. Cucumber's gonna find him. He's gonna dissipate. They know where he is at the very least. He's gonna wait for that last moment to come around the corner. He doesn't see anything, but he's gonna let loose anyway. He's not gonna find a thing with that one. At the very least, it was a good deterrent. Player Force him standing. to play a little bit slowly. Smiley's gonna find one on the back. And now left. I think it's gonna be another round going for the Saints. Caillou in, in spawn still. I, I think he might have made a rotation. Uh, but now they're just turning around the corner and they find the last. Smiley with a 3K to take that round. Four to one for the Saints. Taking that round, 4-1. to one. The Saints having an amazing run on the defense so far, but now going into the sixth round, it's all up for him, San Jose to try and keep pace. But it's going to be very tough as they don't have much money left in the bank. They're going to take this one as a save round, just Sound buying a few sheriffs. Some of them even not buying anything at all. But the Saints still going strong with all the rifles they have. But we've seen some crazy pistol rounds before. I believe in San Jose to make this one at least a little bit expensive. Yeah, I think they're going to be able to get a lot done here. Uh, it, given the last two rounds, never mind. Spoken too soon. Saints are able to find two immediately. Instinct is just on top of it this game. And now Giza going to fall down, getting wall banked out by the Sheriff. That's going to be an opening for San Jose State University, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to capitalize too much off of it. Smiley already getting the flash off, but counter flash now coming out. He's taking some damage. Instinct finds one more coming around the corner. Smiley ready for anything. One. Gonna find one and Caillou at the same time taking out another. That's gonna be another round going the way of the Saints. Another round going the way of the Saints and there it is. 5-1. This lead is getting absolutely large right now. As so it's looking to be 6-1. They did save. They could try and make the comeback here, you know. You always got to get as many rounds as you can. You know, it's a little bit more of a defensive comp on their side as well. The Cypher is definitely not as good on this attack. But speaking of Cypher, Cypher does have his ultimate. So does Reyna. And so does the raise with the showstopper. It's going to be a very explosive round if San Jose really wants to commit to it. Yeah, but whether or not they can, whether or not they will, that's all going to be decided this round. Immediately going to take on the dog, Seth. Probably spotted out by it. At least they know where the Saints are. I don't know if they caught out Smiley, however, so if they go for a play, I don't think they'll be ready for him around the corner, but now with that flash coming out, maybe they'll be prepared. Not quite. It's going to be a force retreat for San Jose State University, clearing out of that B corridor, rotating through mid, whether they're going to go for the B or A site yet to be seen. However, Saints, they got to start the rotations now now because the way they are split up does not look too comfortable i think based off of their positioning on the map san jose state university they're holding down this uh this little corner here where they can use the teleporter to split over to a or where they can stick over to b they're gonna get hit by that util concussed just a little bit they're gonna rotate back through the back of that alleyway and i think they're still kind of struggling to find out how they want to attack these sites matthias Exactly. We have a lot of choices to make, and it looks like they're going to make the explosive choice as they're committing to the Showstopper and the Reyna ult at the same time. They just want these Saints gone. Nice angle, but you can't quite find the rocket. John Ham finds one, though. That's a big pick for them. Kyrie finds one right back. It's 4v4. This Reyna needs to find a pick end soon before this goes out, and they find it. And Yor Fury finds one as well. The Saints are down to one member as John Ham finds two. And K3K. Good love up to his name. Getting a second kill there. And 5v2 is the scoreline going into the next round. The Saints, I think, they have money for one more, but now they're in danger. They can't lose another round or else things are going to start to fall by the wayside. I think the way San Jose State University played that was very good and also very fortunate timing on their part because of the fact that they were able to get those very critical entry flags, entry <laughs> frags while the Saints were still making their way through and kind of fixing up their rotations. They weren't able to really re-solidify their defense and readjust or even try to take a retake even though there wasn't much time for a retake as they were all kind of dead so very well played by san jose state university hopefully they'll be able to recreate that magic that worked out for them this round and i think they're kind of close
close to being able to get that started as they almost find Smiley. I feel like as long as San Jose State University is able to find at least one or two entry frags, their rounds usually go so much better for them just based off of the fact that the Saints are such difficult players to outgun. I feel like the fact whether or not they are able to do so spells so much success if they are able to get their way into the point. Now they're trying to hold down this corridor. It's nothing between them and that point but Smiley. And even with that fact alone, they're still getting deterred. That wall coming up now too, Seth. Going to get concussed and wow. deemed down. They're going to find the kill. Very good ultimate usage. They take down Seth. That's going to be the man holding down the point gone. And that's going to allow them to find their way through. Saints rotating, coming around the corner now. It's going to be them playing for the retake 3v5. Yeah, and a beautiful synergy there with the concussion into the ultimate. Now they are in a key position, but there it is. Another trade. They're still looking very good. It's a 2v4 situation. An instinct. You bought this off this round, didn't get any value out of it. And you definitely do not want to give that over to the enemy just yet. So I think the Saints are going to have to let this round go to San Jose. And now you can start to see San Jose. Gonna start getting these win bonuses starting to stretch further and further into the lead. Yeah, and like I said, San Jose State University able to find a couple of entry frags and that spelt so much opportunity for them to really get onto the site and the Saints weren't able to do too much to take it back. Um, of course, two of them surviving, Saints are going to be able to at least use that money to take them forward through to the next rounds. But this is where things get a little bit scary, a little bit iffy for the Saints. Losing this round would be pretty bad for them. They'd more or less be forced to lose the next or at least uh, it would be kind of a split decision as some of them won't have much money right to play with going to the next round. They're going to have to try to manage it very well here going to this next one or just kind of fully commit to trying to get the win. Meanwhile, San Jose State University, very comfortable with their pockets i think they're going to be going to this round confidently no matter how the outcome they look very confident right now still hanging on that cypher alt win for the most opportune time kaya they're peeking along sees the potential I shot with the exactly top the cypher's gonna find him out are they gonna peek it he's not gonna try and challenge three people now guys don't have to back up here hulk still holding this with the op that long is not going to want to be pushed here and neither is the hookah if i'm going to be honest so i like the a rotation pick from san jose giza prepping some smokes but he's not going to commit to them until he hears the footsteps and there they fall down the blast pack coming in finds one gets flash looking for another just spraying <laughs> trying to find any can't quite find it but a double kill coming up from san jose is going to put them back on the map I feel like the way San Jose State is playing this really well. Caillou gonna find one. It's a 2v3 all of a sudden. And this is looking a lot more doable for the Saints with that shorty doing a lot of damage, but not gonna find the kill. Seth, usually the last man standing for the Saints in this game. As he makes the peek, he's gonna get found. That's gonna be a five to four. And like I was mentioning before, based on the economy, I think it might even be more after this one. I don't know if the Saints are gonna be able to pull enough resources to afford winning this round. But <laughs> honestly, I don't know if they can afford to lose it either and I think they agree a bunch of them buying rifles and armor util as well I think they're banking on the win here and it's exactly what they need to take them forward I feel like right now San Jose State University the way they're playing their offense They're staggering it just enough that they can gather information on the Saints to decide whether or not They're gonna go through this side or the other wait or hold or delay and enough is enough for the Saints They usually get impatient. They usually start pushing up. So as they try to investigate and cut off and flank, that's when San Jose strikes and they really catch them off guard. Yeah, they really catch them off guard and that orb is up still so it's gonna have to come down soon enough. There it is. He's a snake bite to try and keep them at bay. And now, spraying it through. Find all too much. Just even find a little dink there. Saints kind of struggling against San Jose's attacks here. Just the slowness of them. Keep the Saints very nervous they keep rotating around mm -hmm. they like to play aggressive they like to get things done quick so the more that san jose drags these out puts them I've even more on trail. edge and now there is the sky ult from san jose they don't know where it's coming from but it's gonna be a main once again the saints all jumbled up there on that side gonna have to spray down those seekers but those bullet shots also signal where they are 
wants some bathrooms. Khan going for this U-Haul push with his team. Turns around, doesn't find much as Karan finds one over there. 30 seconds left. Now San Jose State University, they're making the most of the situation. They're getting the cuffs one by one. The Saints are going down. They find everybody but Seth, who's over on B site. If they managed to find him somehow through all of that, then I really would have been suspicious. But, of course, on the opposite site, he's going to be the last one standing. Of course, probably not going to go for a retake, but he might at least try to find a pick or two. But in a situation like this, you just get that Halo Breach notification on the top of your screen. It just says survive. And I think this is exactly going to be his motivation here. In fact, rotating over to the enemy spawn, I think that might be the safest place to be. But now they're looking for him. Reyna already coming through that portal, chasing him down. And I think... They're probably not going to have a lot of luck finding him based off of where he is, but they're definitely not going to stop themselves from looking. No, they're not going to stop. He hears some footsteps. He makes the executive decision to move. Going around another court. He's waiting for this bomb to blow up, but I think they found him. Oh. one. Looking for a second. Oh. That's it. And if only his team was still up. Those were key picks. He's making it expensive. Oh, oh no, we got a little greedy there and it fell down. And with the timeout starting, that is a good time for a timeout. They have enough money to buy. They have some other things in their pocket, but overall, I remember when this was 5-1, <laughs> but San Jose has made a an immaculate comeback. Yeah, the 5 1 was what we were at before. I think we're 5 5. We're either 5 4 now. In any case, I can't get over that end of that last round. Attaboy, Seth. You played that so well. Unfortunately, got stolen out from you at the end. But I think the way Saints are looking at things, uh, maybe I'm optimistic. Maybe I'm coping. You decide at home. But I feel like the Saints are going to be pretty comfortable going into the next couple of rounds, especially since I just yeah. took a look at the alt economy going into this uh, next. I don't want to say half, because we're still not at the quite halfway point, but the next couple we're of rounds, this is the last kind of portion of the Saints on defense. They have alts to work with. I think they have Sefs, and I think they also have Gizas. So those are going to be the very important ones that are going to allow them to hold down points. And even if they just commit one per round here, kind of stagger them, don't commit them both, I think they'll be able to very comfortably at least win at one or two rounds. Um, or at the very least, if they use both at the same time, they'll win one round, and that might be the momentum they need to guarantee and cement themselves to get in the last two. Or in fact, it's just two rounds remaining. So they could even just use one per round and guarantee themselves a 7-5 victory. Exactly. They have two very powerful alts on board here. With some of the most expensive alts in the game. They're going to hopefully use them. Good effect them this year. They don't have many guns to work with. Okay. So they need to win this round. Try and at least make it a 7-5 half. This goes 6-6 six, six, or even 7-5. Not in their favor. It's going to be disastrous. Instinct finds a 1. Now if the smoke stops, things are going to have to slow down. Cam looking for the plant. Going to fake it, put the pressure on them, and then rotate all the way over to B. It's just this Viper here. And now, I mean, you say just the Viper, but oh, we were just... Never mind. Now you <laughs> can't do it. But All he had was a revolver. I was going to say, you know, he had the ultimate to work with here, but instead they're going to rely on Giza. As he's going to find one kill with it. If the Saints lose this round, it would be pretty devastating, as everything I just said would basically end up meaning nothing. You know, I'd feel like quite the fool. Uh, the plant's going to start. It's going to stop. And now the Saints are just waiting for opportunities. They're playing patiently, waiting for the rest of the two to reconnect with them. They are going to let the spike go down, but I don't think they're too nervous here. They have some tricks left up their sleeve. They find that flash. It's at least going to get them around that corner, throwing out the util to trap him there potentially. And now they're just waiting through. The Saints are on the opposite side. Two versus two on John each part of this. He's going to find the back of John Ham, And now it's just Yuri. And they find his head almost. No, actually, he's able to take down two, but Instinct's going to get that cleanup kill. Saints are going to find this round. That's going to be six to five. And they still have Seth's ultimate. I think the Saints are probably going to want to play a lot more conservatively and safely so they can really use that ultimate at it's an effective point to so really stop the push or to deter it when it's too late in the round for San Jose State University to really recover from it. Exactly. They want to try and use this Viper Pit to deprive them of all the resources. They have two very good ultimates on board as well. They also have that Showstopper on Instinct. If you can use True. that, take out a couple, they can very well guarantee themselves the round, especially with that Viper Pit as well. All that San Jose has is that oh, Cypher yeah. ult, which isn't super useful. It's great for some info, but you also need to find that first initial pick. It's a little bit more risky. 
Also committing that. Oh, the Saints now have three ultimates along with the Seekers. Oh boy. They have info, they have destruction, and they have defense. Khan pushing it up through the air. Going to find one. And the Saints come out on top, getting two through that exchange. Smoke's down. As long as they don't lose Steph, I think it's basically guaranteed that they're going to take the round. I would... Pr hey, you know what? I'm far from being... A oh, great wow. Team. Oh, but they're losing two. Thankfully, it's the two with the ultimates. I would definitely pop the Seekers to just make sure you know what's going on, where they're going to be going, but I think they have a pretty good idea. As you can see, Steph coming up from behind, Kai coming up from the front, and now they're trying to just make their way up there. Five Steph ten. really wants to get close enough to make this back for Pitch worth while, but he's going to get caught up. He's going to go down. He's not going to be able to use his ultimate. They're going to use the Seekers to at least go through, but it's a little too late. Now, San Jose State University 3v1, they're very, very very confident with how this is going to go for them. It's just Smiley, but very often people say it's just Smiley, and then they end up losing a round. So they just got to find it, but not this time. San Jose State University is able to tie things up going to the next half, despite all the odds. They had no real ultimates to work with, while the Saints had some of the best, and they weren't able to make it work. If you asked me if, if what the scoreline would be at the end of that round, halfway through there, I would not have guessed this would go not at six all. to six. It was five one. But San Jose stuck it very well, stuck through all the trials and tribulations and came out not on top, but they definitely even the scoreline now with them on the defense along with that cypher. They should be having a relatively good time, especially with St. Clair. They chose the deadlock. That's a very niche pick, I want to say. I know it's not the end all be all, but in Valorant, these agent picks are very important. And we haven't really seen much utilization of this deadlock too much. We saw the alt once, but it was not successful. The walls are nice for locking things down, but still very, very niche uses. Don't know if I love it on bind. Yeah, uh, I think I actually, I was scratching my nose, so I wasn't paying too much attention to that beginning of the round, and I didn't think there was much to pay attention to, but I think what might have given San Jose State the edge there was using that Cypher Ultimate to see where Seth was, so they could kind of avoid that point, if anything. If that's what happened, then, you know, kudos to them, that's some heads up gameplay. If that's not what happened, then... They probably should have done that. In any case, they're going to be playing a little bit carefully here. The Saints are just waiting to feel, feel comfortable to commit to a push. I think that time might be now. The wall is going to come up, and the bullets are going to start to fly in just a second here. But they're waiting for an opportunity. Just a whisper flashes in hand over on San Jose's sky. They just have to have a reason to use it. 45 seconds remaining. Saints, your time is ticking. Got to go for it. And they find one, but Caillou's going to go down. That's going to be another trade going through for both teams and it's going to be a recommission they're going to find their way over to the other site now and they're still holding the spike thankfully left. they're just going to have to be very careful with how they're going to push this one up uh smiley unfortunately very low hp but they find their way over to be thankfully very comfortably but no they're actually going to lose two in the process and they're also going to lose instinct one more seth again the designated survivor for this team for some reason and he's going to get caught out in the portal room taken down that's going to be san jose winning this pistol around and for the first time this series they're going to be leaving yeah the saints now haven't had a single round in a while sure they ended the round with a win that kind of just tied things up at that point and now they're back down in the dumps here they're gonna have to try and make a comeback but i don't think it's gonna happen in this round they're gonna have to hope for a thrifty they're gonna give it all they got but not buying the sheriffs on everybody is sure not a sure way to get themselves to victory. And now, it's looking like San Jose has bought in some pretty nice guns. It's going to be very, very stressful pushing through this A mid here. Not going to find all too much though. K3K just spraying it down using a whole mag just to get some info and doesn't find a dink. Now we're looking over at Smiley and Insync. They're pushing through U Haul. They take it. There to meet them. Take close range engagement doesn't work out too well. Now this Reyna gonna get one and Kong gonna get another. The kill feed is so explosive right now. Kong getting two. Smiley getting two. It is a 1v3 though for the last Saint standing, which is Smiley. He's holding the spike at the very least. If he has the information, he might recognize that B's empty. Although I don't think he would really have a reason to know that uh, he 
after all of that calamity, I think he might just still just be looking for some pickoffs, which is going to be the smart play. And if he goes around this corner, he sees one. With the trigger display, he's going to be able to take one down, get the flash up, go around the corner, find the gun. Can you turn this into a second or maybe even three or two more kills? No, sir. He's going to go down, but at the very least, does a lot of damage. Now to San Jose State's economy. Saints, I believe, after their pistol round, only dropped one or two. San Jose State dropping three. They're not going to be able to reap the benefits very much from those previous rounds and the Saints are going to have a window to come back into this game. Yeah, the Saints now finally having that opportunity to strike. They've been waiting for it. You usually see them be very explosive on the attack, but I think things just aren't going their way and I think it's starting to impact here. their gameplay at this point. But, you know, if things turn around here, we're going to have a different story, but I think San Jose might even stretch into an even wider lead if things don't go their way, and Khan getting the first pick is going to be disastrous. It could be disastrous, but what's more, it will be entertaining, and that's all that really matters here today. I think these teams have been putting on an excellent show for us, and he's uh, looking to do some more. Smiley sealing the show right from underneath his nose, getting the kill before him, and that's going to allow them to get the plant. They've dropped Instinct, but San Jose State's dropped a lot more. Yuri trying to find a cross map with the Bulldog, and he's finding one at the very least. He's going to go down for it, but with just Kahem left, he's going to have to do a lot. Carry the torch forward, picking up the gun of his fallen teammates, seeing if he can carry the tradition, carry the legacy on. But with that wall up and the spike down, it's going to be very difficult for him to get much, if anything, accomplished. This is looking good, but Kaiyu finds the last pick, and the Saints take a much-needed round. Yeah, that's uh, going to be pretty big for them, especially in the men's compartment. If they somehow managed to lose that round, I would have been, uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if they started playing on tilt. And once they started playing on a tilt, it's pretty hard for them to get much of anything done. Okay, so that's going to help recoup them. San Jose State University forced to full buy with no money left in the tank afterwards. So Saints could be riding the high here. Hopefully they're going to be able to take this round going forward. But based off of that last round, I think the Saints have found their angle of attack, how they want to start to play things. And I think they're going to be a little bit more comfortable as the game goes on, finding their picks, finding their approaches, and making them all work. Orb's going to get collected. That's just going to be Oh, that's actually going to allow them to afford the ultimate, and maybe they're going to use that to make things easier. Him. Exactly, that's what they're going to do. And they really want to take this round. I think they recognize the economic situation that San Jose State's in, so they don't want to delay things too much. But again, wall banged. Yuri recognizing where he was. He's going to use that to his best to take them down. Explosives and smokes in that corridor. But the Saints have not been deterred, not quite yet. Despite the chaos, it's still uh, even on the number side of things. Four for four here for both of these teams. Util Coming down, he's gonna drop that smoke just to keep himself a little bit safe. But they start spraying as soon as it goes down, recognizing he's using it as an escape mechanism. He's gone, he's out, and he's gonna be joining his team over on B site as they go for the plant and get it done. San Jose State University now they need to start making the rotations. They start making rotations, and quick it's a 4v4, four, but they're down quite a bit of health on their rain or their main striker there, their main. Yes, here. Yuri going on the back line sees a little bit of a jiggle peek there from instinct. K3K though, being the sneaky one, leading the charge, getting the heals. Takes the engagement very well and gets the regen as well. They're gonna be full shields going back into this fight. Now Yuri taking one, Kaim getting another, and the Saints all fall down. And once again, San Jose quickly recovers. Quickly, quickly indeed, and that's exactly what they needed to do if they wanted to have hope going into the rest of the series. They would have been down and forced to languish in the despairs of poverty if the Saints came out on top. And I gotta admit, I was convinced the Saints had that one in the bag, but San Jose State University cut a hole in the bottom of it, and it kind of just spilled out over the floor like spaghetti. And impossible to recover at that point states losing that round seven to nine for san jose state university and looking at the board the armory here it seems like the saints are very likely to lose this one going in since they don't really have the money to arm themselves correctly yeah this is looking to be a very interesting round san jose looking very good they have a lot of alts on the board as well saints just going up for the wild west type round going for these six shooters they have to use them relatively well. We have a few rifles as well, but don't know 
if that's even going to matter at this point. They need to find some of these opening engagements. They need to shut down these alts as well. Is that Reyna and that raise are going to be absolutely lethal. K 3K peeking the corner, being very patient. Khan getting one. Kyo caught off guard. Now they're going to go in with the combat sim, but it's not going to use <laughs> to be very useful as K3K gets one. Now they're engaging you all. Going to have to use the shadow to get out. Now another one goes over to John Ham, and now the Saints are falling apart. It's a 2v5. Gonna have to pace. Keeps up finding one. K3K finding another. Insect finding a one. It's a 1v3. Not unwinnable, but it's going to be a tall order. A very tall order. This bill is going to be full as K3K cashes it in, and the Saints have no choice but to pay up. That's another round being given over to San Jose State University as payment, and now things are looking scary for the Saints. They're three rounds away from losing game one, and I really don't think they want to be doing that in this series. They can't afford to give up any ground to their opponent, not on the mental side of things, not on the literal physical side of things. The Saints need to really recoup and get back together here and I think that's exactly what they're doing going into this next round yeah. they're all on the same page buying the same everything same armor same guns as much as possible at the very least and I think they're gonna be playing in sync if you look at the map this looks like a this looks like a football strategy drop board like it just looks perfectly placed it's a chessboard and they're they're moving like they're pawns but they're all controlling the same characters it's just very in tune, very synced up, and I think the Saints really want to take this round. And if they really want to take a round, I feel it's very easy for them to do it. And looking at here, Kahim almost finding Caillou, which could have been disaster for either of them, but they're jump peeking, see if they can get anything. But it's quiet here in the desert, a little too quiet, and I feel like no someone's mistake. gonna start making some noise. Khan finding Seth, taking him down immediately. That's gonna make things a little harder for the Saints. They dropped the spike a little bit in between both of them meeting each other halfway just so they can get something down they don't want to lose the spike in a committal in a committal push trying to get some wall bangs out smokes are going to go down provide some cover for the saints advance they're going to be comfortable in here for a little bit but as soon as that smoke dissipates they're in a lot of trouble so i'm sure they're going to want to try to get out of there soon maybe listening for some sound cues to see what they can find and they're going to opt to back out i think they just want to get into a position where they can rotate if necessary so they're playing a little bit further back leaving Giza up and he's gonna use a teleporter and he's gonna recognize now that it's pretty empty the Saints are sitting still I think they might be saving actually for their next round 7 to 11 10 is seconds left a scoreline that's manageable they don't want to drop any money if it's not necessary and that's gonna be another round going to San Jose State University Yes, things are going to be looking very dire for the Saints, as now it's looking like everybody's favorite convenience store chain, 7-Eleven, is the scoreline. Nice. And the Saints are not going to be having a very convenient time, <laughs> as they're down quite a bit. San Jose State looking to close this whole game out within a few more rounds. Saints have a lot of alts on the board. They can try and take a few more rounds here, but they only have two or three, no, just two more rounds to lose. Mm -hmm. They have to be pretty much perfect from here on out. Pretty much perfect is not too far from what they're capable of, but whether or not they're going to be able to pull that off here, that's a different story, because right now, it's not looking like they can. They're struggling quite a bit against San Jose State University, and as they're rotating through this corridor, they couldn't even get spotted out. Seth is going to be the unfortunate one that has to deal with this. He's going to use the util. Smoke Cloud's going to go up. Flash is going to come in the corner as they try to confront him, but by that time, it's a little too late. The Saints are already on the site, but they're going to be able to find some trades. There's three three already and they're holding down this quarter instinct's gonna find one uh the cypher is really low on hp and the saints have already got the spike planted seth acting like a sacrificial lamb either intentionally or not kind of giving san jose state the confidence to play aggressively as if they got the flank initially but but in reality they caught the tail end of it yuri in hookah here trying to get out but as soon as he jumps through his window, I'm pretty sure nothing but doom awaits him. He lands, but he's still alive. Coming around the corner, however, they find his back. In sync with his third. That's going to be one more round for the Saints, and they're one step closer to retribution in the game one. Yeah, they are looking for this retribution now. They have two alts on the board. We've seen this before. They had that Viper alt. They have that Brimstone alt, and they use them to 
relatively fine effectiveness in that last round, especially with that Brimstone ult. They should be able to guarantee themselves another round or two, and if they can bring this to a 10-11 scoreline, then victory is definitely within reach. But that's the thing. Do you take that gamble? Do you want to bet these ones early on, try and guarantee yourself some rounds now, or do you want to save them to the very end and try and close things out there? I feel like right now, at the very least, the Saints don't really have much of a choice, thankfully. And that any time you have a decision made easier for you, it can be a blessing in disguise. So they have to go all out every round from here. They only have one more round for comfort before they really have no choice but to play for keeps. They get the orb. It's going to be one step closer to the alt for instinct. Nades are going to be going out. Flash is going to come through here. I think they recognize they're in a little bit of a bind. Pun definitely intended, but they're going to go all the way through it anyways. They use the ultimate to clear up space and provide some chaos. That's going to allow instinct to get onto the high ground and find two headshots in the process. But behind them is one of San Jose State's University's players, and I don't think they recognize that he's here. The spike's been planted, but no, Giza does find him. Saints have not dropped the member yet, and they're going to be forced on to the retreat san jose state just getting out of dodge before the sheriff can come looking for these dastardly bandits exactly their bounties are high so they're gonna have to run yeah. right out of here and now the saints guaranteeing another round for themselves as they know san jose needs these rifles to keep things competitive Saints getting a nice win streak, and if things look bright for them right now, they can maybe even turn this into a win and get a little bit of a comeback now. Yeah, after this round, we're going to be looking at a squad of 9 to 11 here. Saints only two rounds away from tying it up, and five or five rounds away from winning this game if they can hold it together. But that's a very big if. We've seen what's been happening in this game so far. San Jose State really seems to have figured the Saints out on this map, but with their backs against the wall, the Saints have been forced to commit a lot of resources every round using the ultimate of Giza, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the last time we're seeing it in this game one. It's going to take him quite a while to get back to it, but at the very least, the one thing the Saints have going for them is they have a lot of money but with only two rounds left to lose it's not going to allow you or afford you too much opportunity to get anything done because you can only die two more times before you're out of the game yeah you cannot lose too much here k3k mm. not getting the op shot kayu with a little bit of a faster reaction time making this a 45 to kick things off that was huge that is absolutely massive for the saints and now they're just completely encroaching on this a side a lot of rotations have been made and that deadlock wall is going to be absolutely lethal but no camp gets it through the wall but still instinct trying to find some more kills as well but it's a 2v4 smiley here lurking in the smokes john ham finds instinct though it's gonna be absolutely big for them they committed the viper all over on a but they're still gonna have to ro they're still choosing to rotate which is interesting they don't want to play with the ult no things they're not looking at as guaranteed a win as they used to yeah i think the way things oh the dying the fire that's really bad for the saints it's a little bit of time bought for san jose and i don't even think they're going to be able to have the time to get the spike plant no because back they're gonna find khan and that's gonna be seth going down he's still gonna survive take him down but no comes down to the 1v1 in fact the mirror match and john ham's gonna take that that's gonna be match 9 to 12 four. if the saints are gonna do anything here at the very least it's gonna be forced to an overtime they have a long road to victory if they're gonna find it it's san jose state university have cut a detour they just need one more to take this one home so they have the secret shortcut at their disposal here but they walked the long road already laid out to them they had a comeback of their own the saints need to come back to match that and try and expose themselves in the lead but not playing out of that viper ult seriously as you're scratching my head i don't know why they chose to forego that and rotate over now set finding one starts things off relatively well this reina ult is going to be still be a threat it's going to be a problem for sure. Saints have already had too many things to worry about. And as each round goes by, that's more ultimates likely to come online. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the Elite Four. Every round is a different ultimate they're going to have to deal with. And uh, I think the Saints, I'm not sure if they're going to have the capacity to. But they still have, at the very least, everybody left. They're going to get a flashed up. But he's going to bomb his way through. He's going to get the orb. He's going to get closer to his ultimate. He's going to take it out. But he's 
blind to the truth. Gonna go down before he can use it. It's a 3v3 situation, however. Finding some pick off. Smiles is gonna find the head of Yuri. And that's gonna give him some room to get onto the point. Waiting for the plant, faking it, going around the corner, getting the kill. And now he's gonna commit to it. Waiting for that rain to come around. Can they get something done here? They're watching the angle. Whether or not they know he's there, I guess through logical deduction, they can really kind of come to a decision. They're in fact gonna even commit the seekers. I don't know how necessary that one was, but that wall, I think, preventing the seeker from finding its mark. And in fact, it's gonna prevent the, the mark from finding him. In fact, now they're gonna have a lot of time to work with, a lot of delays. It was like a spike trap on the highway, a disaster for San Jose State University's momentum. He's gonna fake the defuse. Smiley waiting patiently and finding the headshot. Very well done. 10 to 12 Saints are getting closer to finding this. We know what we're doing. They're getting very close, but you know, they have to play absolutely perfectly all the way through. It's 10 to 12. They just need two more rounds to bring this to an overtime. But they're still going to have to try and close it out. But just looking at the scoreboard, they might be able to do it. San Jose looking absolutely dreadful in terms of economy, just buying one judge and one sheriff. <laughs> That's my Wilhelm scream. That's their wallet right now, begging for mercy as they continually pick through dollar by dollar, forcing them out. So now 10 to 12, Saints. They're looking to get aggressive here, whether or not they should in that corridor. Making their way over to A. Can they get it done here? Instinct. Gun in hand. There. It's getting so scary here. The smokes. Waiting for any kind of sign of life so you can snuff it out. But Kane's gonna find Smiley Kai who's gonna find him as a result. Now Saints are getting closer and closer to getting onto the site, but with all these smoke clouds up, this is a blessing and a curse. Seth is gonna find one. Giza two headshots, and it's just getting so sweet in fact it's kind of scary things can only get worse from here yuri finding caillou but they find him and that's gonna be the round going to the saints they're just one away from making it to the ot i was a little nervous there honestly when things go that well you can only feel the fear but this fear was delayed as it didn't come to bite them in that last round it is here now san jose state university with three ultimates to work with i don't know if the saints can make this work exactly you can't relax just yet they are still not in the overtime area yet they need one more round san jose could still very well take this 13 to 11 especially with those two alts on the board which they are going to commit no matter what here they're going to lose them even if this goes to overtime so we're going to see four alts on the board for san jose this is going to be an absolutely explosive round Cool. So now they're trying to do something here. The Saints. Oh, even another ultimate picked up by San Jose State. And with all of the information gathering potential that they have to work with, I wouldn't be surprised if they just use the Seekers right now as soon as they find the first sign of life on the Saints. Or maybe even the Cypher ultimate so they can know if there's anybody rotating over to the B site or A site. Uh, just so if they know, if they see some signs of the Saints pushing up, they would at least see that the rest of the Saints are on a completely different site. But... <laughs> He's gonna get committed here. Wow, Cypher are gonna be going down to the alt, and now Saints clearing out the backside. They're gonna move quick. They know Cypher's they need to take down. down these players soon, but no, K3K getting the kill is gonna start things off. He neared out 4v4, getting out another kill, making this a 3v, actually 2v4, 1v4, as the Saints are falling apart. This is looking like San Jose is going to take this one, as now it's all up to Giza, and you know, if he saved his ult to later, he can maybe play the post pump, but no, using it on that aggressive way pretty much makes this a win for San Jose unless we see something crazy here. Something crazy is not going to be found. This is quite predictable indeed. Khan is going to take down Giza, get the defuse, and with a 
tearjerker so close to finding the OT. Just Bender sometimes the factors the of the game come and back. They stack good. up and they don't go your way. San Jose, with all of the ultimates available at their fingertips, were able to stomp them out at the last round they needed. And the Saints are going to lose game one. Yeah, Saints losing game one, a surprise to be sure for both of us. They've been having so many good rounds recently, so many good games recently. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen them lose a game in quite a while. And now, San Jose, now even looking more so to keep that Kingslayer to shut them down, maybe even take this whole series. Exactly. I would not be surprised if the Saints are really taking the time to figure out what went wrong, because every second matters when you're out of the game, because... The time in game is so much less. You don't have a lot to work with. You don't have a lot to figure out. So take all the time out of the game so you're more prepared when you're in it. And I think a couple of decisions that the Saints could have made differently would have been all the difference for them, whether or not they were able to win or lose some of those rounds. Because realistically, we saw, we had some of those moments, that one round where the Saints had all the ultimates that they had to work with, and they ended up losing it. That one round made the difference between whether or not they were able to tie things up or lose game one. So hopefully some lessons learned for them, whatever decisions, whatever results, whatever data they're taking away and learning from, hopefully they'll be able to use that. In game exactly. Four. I think the key round for the Saints was that one where they, they laid down the Viper ult. The point line was still relatively close. I think San Jose was still in the lead, but mm. you know I think they could have made it relatively close, but they laid down the Viper ult. They had a spot where they could plant it. And then the Brimstone just kind of single-handedly walked in. They heard the footsteps and they were, they were like, oh no, someone's here. And they all scattered, went over to B, and he laid down the ult and took out like three of them. Like, I don't know what that play w was all about. But, you know, I'm sure the players are thinking about that. And much like the players, we're going to be taking a quick little break before the next game. So we'll see you very, very soon. And after a very close game, San Jose State takes the first one. A little bit of an unexpected twist for all the Saints fans out there. They've yeah, been riding yeah. the high. But, you know, there's always someone there to test your abilities to the max. And now the Saints are starting defense on Lotus. Lotus, a very comfortable map for the Saints. But after that showing by San Jose, I have no idea what's in store. Yeah, I really don't know what to expect anymore. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I'm in a different universe right now. I feel like I got isekai into like a different dimension. I'm not used to the Saints losing very much. So at this point going forward, 
I'm expecting anything. I'm expecting 5v1s getting flipped on their head. I'm expecting dogs and cats to start raining from the sky. I'm expecting magnets to start repelling things when they should attract and vice versa. The poles are reversed, but if there's one universal constant, it's that the Saints usually use the pistol round. They didn't in that first game, but they uh, <laughs> did end up losing it in the second half, so maybe they're returning the form here, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of chaos going through. Caillou's going to get picked up, but a trade going to come out and now they're just walking it's a marathon in fact i think they're just taking turns running back and forth across the map see who can cover the most distance in the shortest amount of time could be a race it's track and field day just like back in elementary school does they have the day off of school but they're gonna try and teach some lessons to the saints as they're moving Damn. in over to see the flash comes out k3k moving in they want to try and find a pick what? they find it but by two out of nowhere and now the saints in absolute shambles have to take a 2v4. I told you, I expect anything. That really was like throwing a coin up and it never comes down. And that's going to be San Jose State taking round one of this game. What a very interesting way for things to unfold. He was just like spraying through that cloud through that cloud, and then just readjusted his spray as they emerged. And probably with like his last two bullets ended up finding two kills. Very impressed with how that went through. Might, even be, might have even surprised himself there. And and with 10 seconds before we head into the round two, before you realistically the state's going to get executed this round, uh, it's just more of a, form, a formality. Wow. I mean, it's just like that's how it works. I feel like round two after uh, I feel like round two of any game is just a bit of a formality. It's just you got to go through it, even though everybody kind of knows the outcome. But of course, whenever things are surprising. I'll take it. You know, if the Saints are able to pull back from this round, despite all the odds being against them, you'll be the, I'll be the last person complaining about it. Wow, Yuri, though, getting a double kill to start things off. You're right. This is just a formality at this point. Getting a triple with the Ghost. He didn't, he didn't even buy a rifle. He's still <laughs> wow. going That's up point. against the Saints pistol. I think the Saints have better pistol. They have the Sheriff, a little bit more of an expensive gun. Still winning out those engagements is absolutely impressive. And now, 2v5. Instinct at least wants to try this, make this a little bit costly for San Jose. Ooh, Instinct. Getting good damage, but the Ghost Wielder taking a challenge, and what? Okay, I am at a little bit of a loss for words. That just is really unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, he, I feel like I, there's just like pixels. What is happening? I, this is very question. uncharacteristic of the very Saints. Question. Very uncharacteristic indeed, but you know, there's a thing called statistics, and when there's a one in million chance of something happening, <laughs> it means that after a million times, it should have happened at least once. And I feel like this is the millionth game the Saints might have played, and all of those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities are going to just kind of line up and start happening now. There's a lot of cosmic things going on, you know, eclipses and solar poles and all that. It Maybe it's affecting the Saints' gameplay. You never know. They could be attuned to the Earth. Exactly. Mercury is no longer in retrograde, so maybe now that is what they need. Maybe that's their, their on button. But now, <laughs> note that bonus. They don't know what to do. But they do have some guns in their hands. If there's any a point to turn it around, it's right here, yeah. right now. Looks like a C commit from San Jose is in order. They're all jumbled around the dune, trying to wait and bait out the Saints. And now is Seth going to try and delay them with a snake bite. Not gonna push though. San Jose just has that patience the Saints mm. don't have. I mean, look at this. Seth doesn't have to push up right now, but he's going to do it anyways. Ah, he's just repositioning, getting himself into a little bit more of a surprising angle. They might have expected him on the other side, but they wouldn't expect him there. But instead, they're not gonna expect anything as they just rotate away. But holding down the dune, being the man on the pit, they take him down. Fury was hoping. Kai is going to find Khan over inside of the B area, but left. they're still going to find that spike plant. Smokes are going to start flying spike out, but planted. the Saints all kind of funneled up in this one corridor with Seth on the back line. I'm assuming at least it's Seth because he's always the one playing this Asian seeing. Oh, it's actually Smiley. Okay, Smiley now all riding that wall. Saints are able to find their way to B just left as San Jose standing. started looking around. Saints are going to find two and the last straggler inside of this little box room. Smiley's going to peek. They're both going to start peeking. And and they're just spraying him down again. Just 
that obviously went the Saints away. And San Jose State, that last player there, not much of a chance to really fight back. But even that fight just looked so weird. Yeah. So many strange things happening in this game. And I am here for it. I love it. And just going back to that Sheriff moment, just wow. It's like... If his smell sensitivity was like 0.1 higher or lower, I feel like he would have got that kill, but it, it was just like a magnet was repelling his cursor, <laughs> and he just could not find that headshot there. Even as they kind of picked up and started walking around, he still wasn't able to find it, unfortunately, but that's in the past. Yeah. Saints are able to find a round. Let's get into this next one. Let's get right into it there. Take out the turret, going for a little bit of a backstrap, but no, they're going have to rotate back over the quick way as this a site is absolutely being flooded by san jose moving in moving quick con finding one already the plan already being started just a few seconds into this game gonna shoot down the dog and try and take out someone in the back line but no seth finds it already a killjoy being deployed not really something you expect to see this early in the game and they're gonna use it right away which i respect a lot especially if it is something you're not expecting to see very early on it's good to start using it early on where you know you're not really trying to save or the rounds aren't really too scary it's not like you have one round left but instinct gonna find one step as well but he's gonna take down him it's now kai you finding kahim getting revenge for his team he's gonna start the defuse but smiley's gonna make sure that john ham's not gonna be able to find his mvp his player getting the defuse and that that's going to be another round for the Saints, tying it up now 2-2. Two two. And now the Saints looking in good condition. Maybe they like when they lose pistol. Because there's a long arrow. They're doing very well, but they've lost every single pistol. Maybe she's not focusing on these pistols. They're now in a better spot. And that's an absolutely massive round for the Saints. You now you said you kind of like committing those ults early, but I think they could have committed to a little bit of a better round in San Jose. They could have waited for a better moment. Because now they're going to be without that killjoy for quite a while. I think they're fine with it anyways. You know, you just start throwing the ultimates out, but Yuri gonna find the head of Instinct through a wall, no less, but just uh, taking down that camera, and that's gonna be a moment of peace and quiet for the time being. San Jose looks to have completely burst open a site, taking down two, and now there's just one member of the Saints left. Rotations are coming now. Caillou and Smiley, or Caillou and Seth, rather, gonna be making their way over, and the plant is gonna go down. Just seeing what they can find now on the high ground. Seekers are gonna come out. They know where they are, and Caillou on the high ground just seeing if he can find a good opening. Flash is going to come through, he drops down, finds one, finds two! Beautiful play, three! To open up the site completely and find the spike. This is looking like the team that we know and love. It looks like the Saints have woken up here on this round. After those first two, they think they kind of even expected to lose that subsequent round. But now they've won every round they should. They're winning up three rounds in a row now. It's looking good well but that loss bonus is starting to accumulate on san jose i mean look at that they're buying rifles now mm. this is where the real valor is about to begin but like you said hopefully we see the saints commit these ults early and get good use out of them i i th yeah i feel like this is round where you want to commit probably not all of them but especially like at least one or two some of the ones that probably have the better synergy with each other um viper's pit make sure seth doesn't get killed in an entry frag situation and uh then i think this round will go very well for them and that of course will basically net them the follow-up as san jose is very poor right now whether or not they're tracking the economy i'd assume that at least that they are they are pretty good players they must be having some inkling but with heals coming out now from Kahim, it just seems to be the fact that the Saints are pushing up very aggressively. They find Caillou, which I think the Saints can live with. They have the Cypher over on A site, so he can commit the ult if they really want to, if they want to get that information, if they want to know where he is. And they also have, if they use the Cypher ult and the Raze ult follow up, so they know exactly where they are and they know it would be a good opportunity to go for it, then that would be huge. But they're going to start advancing. The Saints have kind of split themselves up, and Seth alone on this point, this would be huge. And that's going to be the committal of the Viper's Pit that's going to force them to reposition uh, themselves over to B site. I think it's a little too early, but the, so it's not going to deter them. Or it's going to deter them, but it's not going to delay their push. I think that's exactly what you really want to get out of those moments. But can use that rocket. It's going to find one, turn around that corner. One of them's chasing him down, but the smoke's going to come out. The bomb bot as well going to act as to delay him even further. He's going to get the spike now, though, and they're 
I believe, gonna try to rotate over to A. That's where the rest of San Jose State is, but a Saint is still over there, and another one just made their way there, too. Teleport's gonna come by. Geese is gonna get taken down. Smiley is gonna be finding one in the, you know, revenge for his teammate. 14 seconds remaining, jumping through the smoke and rushing now to the site, trying to get that spike plant. They are late for school and they have an exam, so no excuses. They find it, but they're gonna get those two cleanup kills, a triple kill for Smiley now. Saints are gonna be able to take that round and take us through. Saints take the round, it's 4-2-2. Two, two. They have double the rounds that San Jose has earned. Now San Jose just having that pistol and the subsequent one. They're struggling to find their footing once their Those rifles are in play. Either. Pardon? Those rounds don't count either. No, <laughs> they don't even count. Pistol and the one after especially. Those are fake rounds, formality rounds, real Valorant coming through. Saints won those ones. Exactly. The Saints are on top so far. As soon as they got those rifles in hand, they've been looking very comfortable. Now, looks like it's going to be a BC commit from San Jose State. With one straggler over on it, just to scout, play some extra pressure, and prevent the rotates. Now, it seems the Saints are all just in a lineup, waiting for San Jose to come over through that door. They have the active ultimate and they also have uh you know a repositioning one it's not going to help them too much in the combat but it's still better than nothing they have sky's ultimate committed but he's going to go down rather jet the knife is going to find the head of instinct he's going to take down yuri in fact kai you finding two seth finding the last one and that's going to be another round for the saints five to two again as expected since san jose didn't have a lot of money to work with that round but at least now they're going to have some pistols some gut well not pistols they have had pistols to work before, now we have actual guns. The Saints are going to have to step it up a little bit if they want to come out on top of this one, too. Exactly. This is looking real. Very good for the Saints far. They've widened the sleep by quite a bit. But now, rifles back in the hands for San Jose. It is looking to be a little bit of an interesting round here. Saints have to play this one very, very carefully. Very carefully is not a word in the Saints dictionary. Very and carefully cannot be put in the same sentence. It is a syntax error. And I think Khan would agree too as he takes out the rocket fuse. Looking for something. Bounce around that corner, but almost finding a double Kai from behind, taking him out. That's absolutely huge for the Saints. Not only denying the ultimate, but saving two of his teammates. That's quintessential for the success of this round. One, two, all going down. They're crumbling like a cookie in milk. And Caillou finding his third now. It's just a complete slaughter. The Saints just getting the defuse, only losing one. And that's going to be six to two now. Six to two. We're nearing how tall I am at this point. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But things are looking very good for the Saints. They are winning six rounds in a row, which is a tough feat to do. They've won half a round. I can't, I can't believe you said that. That's what? <laughs> I, yo, any other cool Matthias fun facts we should know? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, though, before I rudely interrupted you? Uh, not, I just... The Saints have really cleaned up their game since the last one. They <laughs> love. They are looking very, very good here. They were homeless bums before, but now they're respectable. Gentlemen. They got a good shave in here. Yeah. They got a shower. Nice suits. Yeah, and they're in suits. They're looking for a new job. That. No, the they're blind. going in very strongly though. San Jose is looking to take this one, take everything the way the Saints have earned. But he's up on one, keeping himself in this. But Kaham gets one right back. Seth getting one right. There's trades all across the board, but the Saints are on top as it's three to two. Three to two indeed. And if the Saints take this one, they can guarantee that they won't have a repeat of the last game where they ended up getting tied up in the last part of the half. They would at least have one on top, and there it is. Saints promising now to not repeat history. They're up seven to two. It would now be impossible to get tied up in this last half. There's still three rounds to work with, however. S uh, San Jose State could at least come up to five if they go on a hot streak here. But based off of the economy, I don't know how likely that is to occur. They do have the Killjoy, however. So I think if they play things smart, if they buy the guns they need, if they coordinate their assault proper, then they won't even need too much. They can get that Killjoy ult. They can 
get onto the site, they can get the plant, yeah. and if they get the flanks off, they get the rotations, they get the perfect trees yeah. on the Saints, they get it done pretty well. Exactly. Let's hope they get it. And now Smiley <laughs> takes one down, instant getting oh, another. Never mind. It's just falling apart for San Jose. The Saints have regained their dominance for sure. There's pretty much no way for San Jose to make this round even at this point. Sure, they can make it a 5 7 at least, but the Saints have guaranteed themselves a lead going the next half. Woo! Let's see how far they can take this lead. Instinct finds one spike down. San Jose gonna find a pick. But it's not going to matter all too much. Actually, no, they don't. They get picked off by Caillou. There's only one remaining. That's going to be John Ham. John Ham, and he doesn't want to get served up for Christmas dinner. Seth coming around, going to get taken down. Caillou is going to find him, put him on a plate, serve him up nice and good with whatever people eat with him. I don't like him very much, so I'm not knowledgeable on this uh, discussion topic here. Going to the snacks around, however, what I am knowledgeable about is numbers. That's not true either, but I'm at least knowledgeable enough to know that San Jose State University is putting their all into this round, which makes sense because they only got two more rounds remaining. If they wanted to, they could save this round and wait for the next, or they could gamble on the fact that they can win this one and the follow-up. Either way, the numbers point towards taking the chance here, and I think that's exactly what they're going to do. I'd have to agree with you there. A lot of alts on the board, but I think we're going to see them potentially save them for the next one. Chelsea, I know they want to win this I'm one to get the money bonus. Those. There it is. There's the ult coming from the sky. The Seekers are out. They find two out over on A. Kiza finds one. Cam goes down. It's a 4v4 situation. It's going to be very interesting. He so finds one. A. Trade once again. 3v3. K2, 3k. Uh -oh. Doing very, very well. Smiley on a flank. Has a really sneaky position. Khan looking to peek through, but with the cross guard going on, I don't think it's going to go too well. But K3K, once again, living up to his name. He's like one point away. There it is. There's the third K. Will he exceed the name now? Get the 4K is the question. Instant committing the alt. They don't want to lose their lead just yet. He has Spike down right in front of him. He plays his cards right. He could very well win this. Dot, he didn't play them very right. He got aggressive there and was swinging, peeking, and doing everything he could to make it difficult for him. Last but round. I respect that switch. play and like I said San Jose State it paid off for them to not hold on to their money in the previous round because now they still have a chance to win this second one as well Saints all their extra creds are gonna be completely meaningless so they're just gonna save up or not rather do the complete opposite they're gonna spend everything completely splurge buy all they can and just go all in into this final round three seconds separating us from figuring out how things are gonna go I think it very least San Jose State University they're gonna be rushing over to A for sure out in the open they get the information the fact that there is no information to find which is information in and of itself the wall is gonna come up and they're gonna start going through it Doxin comes through it's gonna get taken down immediately by Seb and that's gonna be an opportunity now for them to rotate over to B they're gonna start going in the wall is gonna be up once more but Giza's gonna wow. find now three now four Giza with that perfect lineup took them all down like dominoes quite literally knocking down one and as each one fell the other one did it as well Giza almost oh. with the ace but Smiley there to carry the torch forward for his teammate nine to three the Saints are looking back in peak condition switching they are looking amazing here and now I think San Jose's fate is sealed the Saints time after time do very very well on Lotus attack I've seen them win so many times against teams maybe even they shouldn't have won it against they are are going to have a great time if I had to guess but San Jose State always are ready to prove me wrong they proved us wrong in the first round the first game so now we'll see if they can do it again and hopefully now that universal constant this is where we want everything to go back to the topsy-turvy universe at least for once more the Fine universe for the Saints point? do win pistol rounds and I think based off of the momentum that they're riding right now not dropping a single round I'm sure their egos won't allow them to lose this one but they might not get their way nine to four is a lot less scary than nine to three so I think now the Saints are just gonna do their best to keep this oppressive lead that they have and they're gonna do so by committing over to a site and commit all the way over to A-Site. Caillou 
Sneaking around to B. Here's the footsteps. Going for a little bit of a flank. And what a fake out by the Saints. They've snaked their way all the way on to B. They're ready to take these gunfights. The spike goes down. And the gunfights have started. Kukan finding one. Caillou finding two. However, just one upping him quite literally. Now with a three. Maybe it's Caillou 3K. Giza taking one. Instinct taking in another. Two of the Saints survived that chaos. And it's 10 to 3 now. I feel like they're pretty comfortable with this lead. They can just sit back and be nice and cozy without too much to worry about. Just two more rounds to win. And they're basically guaranteed to at least win this one. Rather, three more rounds to win. So they just need to win basically two more since they're guaranteed to win it now you get what i'm trying to say i'm kind of waffling at this point exactly if they can win this <laughs> round which they very well Let's should on paper dance. just two more rounds with guns stand between them and victory as we look towards the map it looks like they're eyeing this a push and all that's there to stop them is this killjoy two of the members on san jose are going for an interesting little flank here mm. will the saints have someone watching their back is that could actually be the knife in the back that ends the round poorly for them. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one a bit. Two of San Jose coming up from behind against the Saints. Thankfully, there's a lot of wall and even that Viper wall there to kind of make it a little bit more obfuscated. But in the sky, K is going to take down Instinct. Giz is going to take down Khan. However, Smiley finding K3K around that corner. John Ham is going to be able to take down one of the Saints. But Kahim is going to fall as well. Giz is able to take him down three. The Saints survive. You wish you could keep more, but you're not able to. You work with what you can get. 11 to 3. Saints need two more to win this game. And it's pretty favor for them. At least now, San Jose State, they can afford to buy some guns here. But if they lose this one, and they didn't, yeah, if they lose this one, then it's basically the game because they won't have any money to buy for the next one. However, if they are able to come through and win at least one, then that is no longer a threat for them to worry about. Exactly, but great. exactly, <laughs> this is going to be the round that decides it all. Mm. Right now, San Jose needs a win, and they have to get one heck of a win streak going. One to match the Saints. John Ham takes the first pick. Here. Now we're gonna look back over to A. Smiley is gonna put out a blind here. The paranoia is strong. Two of them in the corner. John Ham gonna go down. Seth gonna go down. Seth getting a 3K actually. And now two remain on the side of San Jose. Unfortunately for them, the two that are remaining are nowhere to be found. They are taking a world tour. One of them on C, one of them on B. And uh, I think their best bet's probably to save so they have at least some guns going to the next round. And I think it's exactly what they're gonna do. Saints only losing one and it was the one that basically threw himself at the enemy team so even that is basically just going as predicted going as planned they know they could afford to do something like that and san jose is just going to hold down c site and wait for the time to tick down the saints however kind of recognizing that's probably their plan and with basically what 10 rounds to spare they're pretty comfortable taking some risks and getting aggressive looking for them you can already see that smiley coming around that corner might be able to find k3k if he's aware but that bot's gonna alert him and he's gonna kind of like a cat the hairs are standing on his back arching it and he's gonna come around but he's gonna get taken Mad down you're point. able to take down Giza too two of the states falling one round stands between them and victory san jose state have to play perfectly going forward at this point the saints don't even mind losing those two members they have so much money on the board they have enough to rebuy those rivals and they're just one point away from taking this one if you look over at San Jose, I'm pretty sure they shouldn't have much money left in the bank after losing that round. They bought all bought rifles. They're just going to be forced buying here. They have some rifles, but they're not all the best. This should be explosive round. Very explosive round indeed. Not literally, however, as Raid's not for ultimate, and that's going to be a mow down. These blades of grass are standing against the wrong lawnmower with the spike in hand, and it's a 4v1 situation. San Jose State University, very unlikely to be able to recover here. Yuri is at the very least going to be able to find Smiley. This is his last stand. Going down swinging is the best you can do here. Instinct coming around the corner. Boombot is going to be able to find some data. But Caillou, even I don't know where he shot him from. At the very least, he took him down. That's all you got to do. Get the job done. And he did that with alacrity. 13 to 3 is the scoreline for you, ladies and gentlemen. The Saints are going to be able to recover in this game, too. 
Yeah, a beautiful recovery from the Saints. Absolutely different story than that game one we saw from San Jose. Not in the beginning, though. We both had our doubts. We did, sure. did not look good in that, those first two rounds. The Saints couldn't land shots, and they very well should have. But as soon as they regained their footing in that third round, they did not let go of that gas pedal. Sure, round here and there went, or one round after that went the way of San Jose, but you can't really ask for a better scoreline than 13-3 to three at that point. Absolutely. You couldn't even ask for a better scoreline than the one that a Smiley had. Uh, I think it was Smiley. 21 kills leading against the next most uh, follow-up kills after that was 13. Wow. So, yeah, really <laughs> impressive numbers all around for the Saints in that game. But as we already saw in that first game, at the very least, we know this team is not invincible. San Jose State University was able to take game one. Saints able to recover a bit now, taking game two. But as we go into game three, I believe anything is possible. One game stands between both of these teams and losing, either getting eliminated or getting sent to the lower bracket. A lot's riding on the line for sure in this Seaval top 16. Matthias, before we send it to a break, what are you excited for the most going to this next and potential, well, not potentially, final game of the series? <laughs> yeah, going into the final game, I hope this one's a little bit closer than the last one. I hope the Saints, you know, get another good game in there. But... I still hope it goes the Saints away. Mm -hmm. I personally am not hoping it's close. I hope the Saints <laughs> absolutely stomp and destroy because it always feels good when they succeed. When they lose, it's just awkward. You know, we're leaving, they're going, and we're just like, all right, good job, guys. Yeah, nice good nice try. Work. Good it, try. It, it's, it sucks. I don't like it. Yep. I want them to win, and I want them <laughs> to win confidently. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for game three, we'll throw it to a quick break, but we'll see you all very soon. And here we are with Game 3, Ascent, St. Clair starting attack. Whoopsie daisies, ladies and gentlemen. We are right back to the basics comfort zone for bo all, both of these teams. I'm pretty sure this is a very classic vanilla standard map. And as a result, you're going to see some vanilla classic standard comps coming out here. We have Giza hovering over the Killjoy and potentially... Uh, 
last pick for Caillou, unsure if it's instinct on the jet. I'm curious who Caillou's gonna be running. Never mind, it's gonna be the Sova, and I'm not surprised to see that either. Compositions looking very similar for both of these teams. Ascent as as close to a solve the map as you can get. It's usually this exact team comp every single time you see it. No crazy gimmicks, no revolving walls, no teleporters. It's just good old-fashioned valor. And all you got to worry about is your ability usage and positioning. Sure, there's a lot of gameplay around shooting through these walls using that... Uh, that but <laughs> that's about it i was gonna see if there's more to expand there's really not there's another door there's two doors on the map that's the gimmick but the door is easily destructible barely a gimmick at all and now we're loading in let's see how this works out st Clair is starting attack this is the first map they're actually going to be starting on attack so things should go well for them yeah, like we've been saying this whole time, one of the defining characteristics of this team is their aggression. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's reckless, but it's definitely very palpable. I always feel like uh, it's like a dog being held on a leash while there's like 12 squirrels running in front of it. It's like it, you can tell it wants to just go crazy, but you know, sometimes it, it has to just sit still. Sometimes it has to wait. defuse bomb. Yeah, it's like a dog that has to defuse a bomb while there's 12 squirrels running around. It's like, you know, it knows to prioritize. Defuse first chase after exactly and now speaking of chase let's see what guns they're chasing here it looks like we're gonna see Probably a sheriff nothing. and some ghosts it's a pistol and very interesting around all around i'm excited to see will the saints win the pistol because last time they lost the pistol but absolutely won that last game now if they win this pistol here do you think they'll win the entire game if the saints guess? win this pistol i'd be very comfortable to say that they're probably gonna win this game i feel like like you said this map is just basically solved i feel like the saints when it comes down to just playing solid straightforward comfortable Valorant, I feel like they're one of the best teams in the world, so I'd be very comfortable to see them come through on top, especially if they get the early lead, but with Kahim and Yuri taking down two of the Saints, and only Saints finding just one now, it's just two remaining on the Saints side, but they're at least going to even it up a little bit more, three to two, and some healthy players on the Saints, one of them at half HP over on the side of San Jose. I wouldn't be surprised the Saints lose this round here, and I'm not surprised at all. Saints are going to go down, and that's going to be the first one going over to San Jose State. San Jose State winning the pistol round, and you have to be getting some goosebumps if you're on that enemy team. Because last time, you won the pistol. You won the one after that. You've been won an additional round. But you won no other round. So San Jose might be repeating history or might have some deja vu. But we'll only know in the third round. Maybe the Saints make this one interesting. Switch it up for everybody and win this second round. I'm still of the opinion that we should just skip round two entirely. But... We're going to go through it regardless, and hopefully the Saints have been cooking up something interesting for us to bear witness to. They're going to try to find some data, find some information, pushing up through mid and A, it seems. They're leaving one straggler over through B to maybe, you know, bait some rotations, but I think they're growing impatient. Saints want to get something started here, and they're going to get spotted out a little bit over on A site. They see each other, the sight lines are crossing. Giza finding almost one, but coming out the corner, he takes him down with the Bulldog. Seth now near mid is going to get picked up. Up two, does a headshot from the Sheriff. Saints not able to find a single kill so far. And with just two members left in their tank, I don't believe in their odds for this round. You may not believe in their odds, but I always bet against the odds. Let's see if they can Good turn luck with things that. around. Good luck with those odds, my friend, because based off of this one, I think it's good as done. It's toasted coming through now. If they can at least find a single kill, that'd be pretty good for them. But so far, it seems like that's unlikely. Caillou, you can always bet on him to make something work, taking down one before, and he goes down. But that's going to be the round going to San Jose State University. Now we're going to get to play the real game. I think these teams might start to really start shaking things up. Exactly. Well, Daniil, I said I always bet against the odds. I never told you I won at gambling very often. True. Uh, and now the Saints have a lot of rifles in their hands. They're still going to have to go up against this op on the side of San Jose State. Their armor not looking too great. A little bit worse for wear. Saints could very well win this round, but they're going to have to play pretty crafty. 
Indeed now. Oh, finding two, suppressing them. Khan doing a great job using his abilities to his advantage, showing us what distinguishes Valorant from other games is those abilities. So why not use them proper? Making their way over to A site now. The Saints in a nice little row, like a bunch of ducklings that walk around outside campus with their families. But unlike those ones, these ones are armed to the teeth and are looking to plant explosives. However, not the kinds of explosives they leave on they leave on the grass outside these ones are very very deadly so they were going to start faking the rotation but it seems they decided to stick back and commit to this a push but i don't know if this is exactly what they're going to need here it's still tied up in terms of the players five to five nobody's getting taken out yet but the saints they are in a bit of a pickle it's like a shooting gallery for them saint almost going down there taking so much damage k3 can find one he's gonna take two with another op shot he's gonna get taken out and seth right underneath them as smoke dissipates it's gonna be a kill john ham finding two saints are falling apart here instinct is the last man standing and he's in hell right now if as soon as the smoke dissipates he's in a lot of trouble he has that dash to work with but not anymore waiting to go around that corner another smoke's gonna follow up they see him? No, they don't. Not quite yet. 10 seconds remaining. This round is as good as Ten done seconds for the Saints. Left. 10 seconds remaining. He's in a rocket hour place. Ooh. Finds one. Looking for a second. They're all running now because they know he's going to be the win condition here. But that's going to go down 3-0 for San Jose State. And St. Clair not finding any footing at all. Yeah, they kind of slipped up there at the end. And I respect the timeout call. I think they're going to be trying to figure out what's going wrong before it's too late. I find, especially with this team, the coach plays a vital role in kind of getting everybody together to work to figure out these problems and solve them as a team, as a unit. And in a game like this, I know the Saints, it's a very obvious statement to make. Nobody wants to lose, but I know the Saints really don't want to lose this game exactly they want to keep the win streak going you know as you get further and further these losses are more and more never you got to give it your 100 percent full power full attention everything you got you got to throw everything you have at it i'm sure the saints are willing to do so especially after such a dominant second game mm -hmm. you don't want to follow that up with the opposite happening to you right especially that first game was very close indeed as well mm -hmm. like it was 11 to 13 it was not an absolute stomp so san jose i'm sure they are very nervous as well they don't want to let this one slip between the fingers they got the first round and now they have a nice lead in this second round so I don't think they're going to give up this lead very easily. Right here. Yeah, either way, that timeout might have been what either of these teams needed to really guarantee themselves the victory. Five seconds before the round starts, and I'm excited to see the fireworks that are going to let loose during this round. Saints all have a bunch of SMGs, Stingers mostly comprising it, and it looks to me that they're very comfortable on this A push. Seems to be what they're going for. They slip through mid, but Kate is still going to be able to find Caillou. Unfortunately for the Saints, the range is not going to be the best part of these SMGs, so they're only able to hurt him, not find the headshots or the kills to take him down. But that's not going to stop him from pushing. Steph's going to find John Ham to even the numbers, and as they make their way over to the A site, they are able to open it up, clear it through. Util is going to be the real main part here. And as they get to hell, underneath that site, they have the uh, spike ready. They make the plant flash out, and that's going to be a moment of opportunity for the Saints to mow them down, but they're going to wait. They're going to delay their push, and now the Saints really have to get ready, get focused up. Smiley is in position, waiting for them to get aggressive. Instinct underneath the Raptors here, but they find them at the same time. Tom Clancy's stealth co-op kill. That's going to be a fourth round going for San Jose State University, and the Saints I feel like after that timeout, they definitely are a lot better. They're definitely probably a lot more comfortable and focused. They're still going to lose the round, however. I just hope that doesn't take the wind out of their sails and they can continue to focus and press on with the words of their coach. Exactly. Mental is the name of the game here. A lot of teams feeling a lot more comfortable on the defense on this map. So the Saints shouldn't feel too bad about losing rounds here. This is kind of almost a guarantee. They just have to hope that their defense is as strong as San Jose. Just got to Try and get as many rounds on the board as you can. Yeah, and with that being said, the same time just looking at what it is. 
a new opportunity to win a round. And that's every round gives you that opportunity. As long as you're willing to take it, as long as you don't give it up or disregard that fact, you can win any round that you set your mind to, kids. Don't forget it. Set your dreams, make them come true. And right now, it seems the Saints are still dreaming of A-Site, but that's a pretty unrealistic dream with that op in hand over on San Jose State. It looks like the now Saints are trying to push up through mid, potentially, and hopefully get over to B-Site. I feel like just in general, through their careers, I've seen the Saints playing on this map. They just have a lot more success on B, and I wouldn't be surprised if they start trying to play over to that more in the later rounds but with a site still being in their sight line they're going to start to get work done but that ultimate is going to get committed to sova it's going to start wreaking some havoc john ham finds an instinct but Kahim is still running for his life it's like a landmine field and he's going to be so low the thing just need to find that one click they find it he's taking him down but cage still going to find stuff with that off shot as they make their way over to the a san jose state university they're all migrating over it's a it's a horde of them and they're all pushing up through heaven in the sky now with the knife in hand well just floating gently above them in fact they're gonna make their way onto the site and try to get the hand fuse they're gonna find two however john ham is gonna be taking down one more but he's the last man standing and giza with his 3k takes him out the saints are now back in this game Saints are back in the game, starting off with 4-1. They have a bit of a deficit to climb, but it's not an impossible deficit to make up. They have some ults on the board as well. They have that KO and they have that Omen ult. I'd like to see what the Saints could do going forward. I think they're going to try and go for a split push once again. And now they have a little bit of wind in their sails. I think it could be smooth sailing from here smooth sailing but uh i don't think they need smooth sailing i think they need rough windy hurricane winds and while it might not be smooth sailing it's fast and effective sailing i think that's what they need going in this game with three ultimates to work with like you said i think this way. might be an opportunity for their ko to start getting aggressive with that kind of revive effect that his ultimate allows him to get but they're gonna still play relatively conservatively on b site however this time with two of the stragglers over on uh, mid, okay. rotating now to A. The drone's going to find retreating Giza, and I think that's going to be their final eviction notice from outside of B point. They're now going to commit to rotating over to A, and I think the Saints are pretty comfortable and confident to start making their push. Comfortable, confident, cool, and collected. The Saints are going to make the push over on A. Starting with that KO ult is going to be absolutely massive. Suppressing all the abilities on the enemy team is going to be what they need to push in on through the site. Along with the knives, they have so much aggressive pressure here. Along with the Sova ult here, they're trying to filter them out from long range. And wow, it's working out for San Jose. St. Clair finds one throw of the chaos, but that's not going to be enough as they all fall down to Yuri and John Ham. The madman is himself. It's not looking great for the Saints as now that one lead they little got. They, that little lead they got is not going to amount to much. Yeah, they're right back in the depths of despair here. Forced to pick up some scrap guns. Caillou at least going to be able to comfortably afford a rifle, a real one this time. I feel like that last round where they all had the stingers and they're in mid, if one of them had a rifle, it would have been a lot better for him. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Maybe they're going to go for a similar play, this time better equipped. But now as the gates fall, the Saints have to make their decision and make it fast because I feel like what's really been uh, biting them here has been delaying their pressure. Their pressure. But Instinct's going to immediately dash out to mid, finds one, but Keem takes him down as a result. Smiley clearing out through mid. The smoke is going to allow him to get through pretty comfortably, but as soon as it dissipates, John Ham is there to put him down. John Ham also going to be able to find Seth on the rafters, but Caillou and Giza also doing good work to thin the numbers of San Jose State. It's now a 2v2, but the spike is mid. Giza and Smiley Last are going to have to find standing. their way over, but Caillou is going to go down. Sorry, Giza is going to go down. Caillou finding it, finding a double, a wow. 3k to win the round clutch indubitably. Kai, you had to fall for it, but he carried the legacy forward. Carries the legacy and carries the team on his back, at least for that round, saving it from the brink. And now he might be able to rest this round and hope the rest of his team is able to come together for this next much needed victory. 
looking for. They have the Omen all, but that's usually not going to change the game so much. That KO ult on the side of San Jose State is going to be absolutely massive if used in the right scenario. Saints going for a split choice, trying to lure some stuff out. Seth gets caught up with the knife and the molly. He's in a little bit of a bad place. Randy Rollins into the molly, gets a few shots off, and saves his skin. Saved his skin indeed, and not just the one on his gun. Those ones are a little bit more disposable. But Yuri, Yuri is going to meet Giza, and it's not going to go his way. Kahim's going to take him down. However, a lot of these trade situations coming through, and that's the importance of moving in pairs. Buddy system doing wonders for these teams. But as the rotation from San Jose comes up to behind mid, Instinct has his eyes there, and thankfully able to take down Khan as he makes his head shown. But Spike, I believe, is going to be in the hands of Caillou, holding it, cradling it waiting for the moment to strike where he can get through mid with that smoke just making it all the more comfortable for him he's able to rotate through mid and rejoin his team over closer to b site 3v3 situation it's just kahim over on a however or over on b however and uh the rest of san jose state's gonna be holding down a i hope the states are gonna be able to make the most of this opportunity the smoke's gonna go down that's gonna alert, alert san jose that they are making their play over on b site and the rotation is gonna come through hopefully the Saints can get through before it's too too late they get through smoke's gonna go down forcing the rotate out and kahim is still able to find the kill on smiley however he's on the back they still haven't found that plant it's going it's delayed they find one for least but two going through the faking the plant he has to commit for it now and unfortunately for him that jet's right there ready to find him right as soon as he finishes that plant Cade's gonna take him out and get the defuse the saints coming so close especially since Cade was so low as well that that's going to be the round going over to San Jose. That's going to sting quite a bit there, but still, they got the plant money. Not an absolutely torpel round. They hit the economy hard on the side of San Jose, but losing that round still does not feel too great, especially when that KO still has that ult on the board. They didn't flush anything out other than the weapons. Saints not in an unrecoverable, pos unrecoverable position. They can still maybe bring this back to 6-6 six to six if they play their cards right. But right now, it's not looking very possible as they don't have any weapons in hand. They're going to say it's not looking very pog and I was going to have to just, I was going to have to leave if that happened. <laughs> And uh, speaking of leaving, it seems the Saints are making their leave from their spawn over to B. But once again, they're rotating over to the mid. This time, no one's waiting for them there, but Kate is still going to catch Giza as they retreat. Coming up through mid now. If he can go through this smoke, or that wasn't a smoke, it was just a bot there. He can get through there comfortably. Dropping now that cloud. He dashes in closer to B. He's going to get caught out by Kahim. So, Saints losing more and more by the minute. Just three remaining. One of them with the spike in mid. If he goes down, this would be disastrous. But thankfully, he's going to be able to recover and make his way through. If they go for A, if they go for B, they're going to have to decide that here and now. It's most likely going to be B since they already have at least one over there. But he could still rotate. I think the Saints are in a little bit of a bind here. Pun not intended this time because it's not fine anymore. They're still in one, however. If they need to make a decision fast. And more importantly, they need to make it a well-executed one. But Yuri still going to find some Smiley, and uh, Seth's gonna take down as well. Kai's gonna fight two ever three, but no, not three. Kai is gonna go down. The opposing Sova is gonna be the one to take him out. Seven two now. Saints are looking to be in a lot of trouble. Saints looking to be in trouble. Things are starting to t t lean the way of San Jose State, and the Saints just. Not having a good run right now. They got a round here and there, but they cannot get any firm streaks going. Meanwhile, San Jose just continuing to dominate right now in this defending half for themselves. The Saints, I expect them to do a little bit better on this attack. I'm not going to lie, but still a few more rounds left in them. They can maybe bring this right to 7-5. For sure, as they make the rotation over through B. Right here. They are just about to meet K3K, but the team poorly has a chance. And dashing up through mid. It seems the Saints are confident and comfortable now. Three of them on that back of B, however, and they're already going to be able to take down this 
one, two, but Khan is gonna have that respawn available. Smiley's gonna take down one more. It's gonna be very difficult for San Jose to recover from this one, but they're doing it regardless. K3K with his 3K. Yuri so low, but Kate finds four, finds five for the ace to take the round, and the Saints were looking so good there, just not able to cinch the victory. It's looking pretty dire for them so far. Looking very dire indeed. Eight to two this half. They at least want to get the nine three. If it's not nine three, if this goes to a ten two half for the Saints, I don't even know if they'll be able to bring this one back. Nine three, possible. You can maybe hope for that nine three curse on your opponents, but without that in your pocket, it's going to be a very this long, hard fought battle. Saints buying some scrappy guns, opening win this round they're gonna just go for something different here go for a three commit over to a committing with the knives still gets traded out with a single shock arrow and con getting a pick as well it's trades all around 3v3 with the saints down in rifles this could not possibly go their way but i'm all ready i'm all ready for them to prove me wrong let's see if k3k can get this guy around the corner Around the corner is not just a guy, it's Kaiyu, the one and only Smiley, also holding off the angle, so he's going to take him up for the meet, but Giza is going to find Kahima's Khan takes down Kaiyu, it's a 1v2 situation, which is far from impossible for either of these teammates, but this time, San Jose State's going to be the one on the receiving end of the 2v1 situation, uh, so he's going to probably honestly play for the retake they have a lot of money to work with but he's not going to find anything as Giza with a 3k they are not looking too good at the end of that one Saints however are finally finding some kind of hope in the last round before the swap they have a lot of ultimates to work with I'm optimistic that they can take this one but if Bayern taught me anything it's not to believe in the numbers exactly never believe in the numbers you gotta believe in the player's spirit I know St. Clair has so much spirit left within them. I mean, look at this buy. This is everything they need to potentially win this. All light shields on the side of San Jose State. They're like a house made of hay, waiting for the big bad wolf to blow them all down. Let's see how the Saints do. They're rushing in on A, and that judge just shuts one of the Saints right down. Yeah, took him down, but now they're trying to push him for the A site. They're going to use the util and do anything impossible to make this a little bit easier for them. They're going to be committed on Smiley, so if he goes down, you still have a Ch second chance to fight. In fact, he's going to use that to his advantage to get the win. San Jose State University, they're all waiting for them on the other side here. They have the Killjoy. If they find a good opportunity for it, it could be huge, but both teams are going to commit a Killjoy. Seth is going to be in the perfect moment, perfect place to avoid both of them. Thankfully, only to avoid one, but as they pour onto the site, San Jose State are going to start taking down the numbers for the Saints, but cross map, they find one. The Killjoy is about to go off, but it's going to get broken before it actually has a chance to. The attacker Killjoy was the only one that got to go through, and that's going to be the defuse for San Jose State University. 9-3, to three. this is the reverse of the last game for the Saints. They were up 9-3 to three before they went to the next half, and I wouldn't be surprised if we had a repeat of the last game. This time, San Jose State being the ones taking things if we continue with this trajectory. This trajectory not looking good for the Saints, but the 9-3 half, 9-3 curse, you know, if you're a man who's a little bit superstitious, maybe, hmm. maybe the Saints will be able to swing this one back all the way. But it's a pistol round, the Saints need to to win this one if the pistol run does not go their way i would have to agree with you this is going to be done and dusted for san jose state university blue team yeah and realistically it comes down to unfortunately much to my dismay because uh, i think pistol rounds are dumb i think this one is going to come down to the pistol round however if the saints lose this one it would be pretty difficult for them to recover enough to kind of get the uh, comeback going for them but as they dash through that smoke there it's going to fall yuri takes that Smiley, 3v3 Five situation kill, as Seth takes the double kill, triple kill now. Seth really taking to heart what I said. They don't want to lose this game, but it might just be possible here as Khan takes him down. Giz is the last man standing. The man of many 3Ks here. If anyone's going to be able to take it down, it could be him. But with that smoke up, it's going to be forcing him to make that retake as they are going to get the spike planted all the way at the edge of B. It's going to have to be Giza taking the initiative to take this round at his own hands. To his own hands. He takes the will of the team of the Saints. Let's see if he can grant themselves a blessing. He cannot. It's John Am, the madman himself, shuts them down.
that's 10 to 3 now. The Saints are looking to be in a bleak situation. This is going to be quite difficult to recover from, but far from impossible. Not that far, but still far. Impossibility. It's like a. Uh, it's like the earthquake scale. Each one you go up, it's like 10 times greater. It's a uh, scale of magnitudes here. But with 10 to 3 looking down the Saints right now, they don't have a lot of wiggle room to make things work. However, especially so, they lost the this round. They're going to this next poverty round for them. It will be even harder for them to get much done. At the very least, they have the defense side. So, especially on A site where they have the sheriffs, it will just be like working with a slightly worse worse ops far from impossible like i said it's just going to be pretty difficult i think maybe san jose state recognizing that and instead of pushing through a they're going to push through mid maybe rotate over to b entirely in either case they don't want to go through that open corridor where all those long range pistols are going to be at their most effective they have to play their cards right. They can't take these long range games. They need to play as a team and play very, very carefully. John Ham, TPs, take a wide angle, gets one, does not get the other, and that's going to be an upgrade for Smiley. An upgrade indeed is going to use that gun to its full potential, I hope. That's the key that takes down K, 3K, and Kahim with the double. Spike Carrier is going to fall as well. He's making a beeline for the spike. Now making a beeline for B site. The Saints are still kind of circling around, however. Smiley with an actual gun. Seth working with nothing close to one. And he's going to be forced he's going to get that teleport into that corner. Coming around with the sprays. He's still going to fall as the rest of the team does at the same time it's 11 to 3 san jose state able to clean up that round very impressively yeah, very impressively indeed but now san jose state looking to take this one in a 13 to 3 getting the same thing that happened to them in the last map trying to perform that on the saints the saints i know them they're not going to go down without a fight they at least want to prove that they're a little bit better and get a 13-4 finish they at least want to take an extra round more than san jose did so let's see how they perform the performance on the stage has been set and now it's time to start acting acting like you are going to win because fake it till you make it the saints still have a lot of life in them start kicking start throwing hands b site is where they're gonna start pushing up through they have that corridor marked but they're gonna opt to just rotate right out a bit of an indecisive push but San Jose State, I think they're more than comfortable to start taking risks, to start playing a little bit differently because the Saints are the ones who are going to be scared playing into them. They at least have some guns to work with, thankfully, so it's not going to be too easy for them. San Jose State have to recognize and respect that fact, but they are going to commit through to be dashing in. Their jet is going to find some openings, potentially Giza amidst all the chaos. He's flashed, he's going to be able to take down one as soon as his eyes start working once more. Caillou taking down one as well. Taking down a second. Taking down a third. Taking down one war would be the 4K and the round for the Saints. And in fact, if that box wasn't there, he might have just done so. John Ham taking out Smiley oh. and through the wall. Taking him down. Caillou getting the round for the Saints. John Ham going down. John Ham being turned into John Bacon by Caillou there, yeah. winning the round. And now the Saints. Gotta ride the high of that moment just a little bit longer at least. I think we they have a few more rounds in them. Yeah, a couple more rounds to go. The Saints just four more away from 11 to 8. And then four rounds after that, they'll be 11 to 12. It's just eight rounds in a row, guys. It's doable. Let's go for it, everybody. And the Saints are starting to kick things into high gear. I feel like that round energized them, brought them back. They might not have had an opportunity to yell very loud for the last few rounds, but I think that might have been their ticket. They let the beast inside them free, and they're now looking for more prey. Similar situation, similar play setup. San Jose State's taking from that previous round. They were all stacked up on B, but now instead of rotating through B once more,
four. They're going to rotate through mid, and they're going to try to get off any stragglers. Saints would most likely be making rotation at this point of the round if they were not too sure as to where San Jose State was making. So I like this play a lot from San Jose. They just rotate into their rotation and pick them off. But Instinct is ready for them at that corridor that they're waiting to go through, staring them down. Ready to go. Flash coming through, but that outlaw double shot forced to reload, and it's such a slow one. So now he's going to reposition. Here. Sav is going to find John Hammond in the meantime, but the Flash is going to force him into cover. They're just bringing him down, but he finds one beautifully, in fact. Seth, Smiley, and the rest of the gang taking them all down. Saints taking another round, and I believe with that money playing a factor here, I think they might be able to get the next one if San Jose don't have a lot to work with. And in fact, they do not. So Sheriffs in hand are going to be the only option, and the Saints are going to take this around as an opportunity to get comfortable and cozy in the lap of luxury. The less deaths, the better. Giza buying an op for instinct, and here. now really just putting it all on the line here, sitting him mid, and I think this here. might pay dividends here based off of how often San Jose State have here. been walking haphazardly through that mid site. Whether or not it's going to work out, we're going to have to wait and see, as in fact, instead of going through mid, San Jose looks to be playing over onto A. They're looking to play over and on that A site, but actually, oh, I they think are. they're going to go for a rotate. As long as Instinct holds that angle, he should be able to fight. Oh, no, they didn't go through that way. They're going the other way, and now you want to do anything but hold that angle. He's changing things up, and now he's looking through here. If he can get in position enough, he might be able to see them before they come out. No, in fact, they spot him. I believe he had to dash away, and they're making their way into B site. Instinct is still holding that off in hand, hoping he can find at least one, but nobody's finding at least anything so far. They're rotating around each other, and now that's that's going to be the plant coming through without drawing a drop of blood. Saints have two still behind, straggling a little bit, but a confrontation is inevitable as they come around you that corner. Run. I think they spotted the omen. Either way, the killjoy from the attacker side is going to force the Saints back. This is looking bleak. They haven't lost anybody yet. It's still very difficult. That's so much time being wasted for the Saints' offense, or rather their defense, I guess, in this sense. They have to get the DPS. Cade with the knives is going to find one. Kai is going to fall. One one by one, the Saints are going down. Seth, the last man standing, at least taking one down. But it's very likely he's going to be able to go down as well. At least he won't be able to find that defuse. At least he's going to hold that gun. But unfortunately, the well-timed Killjoy is going to force the Saints back. Thrifty. No more insurance rounds for no the Saints. It is all on the line from here on out. Overtime is their only option. A seven-round gap to close. Near impossible task, but there's, if there's any team to do it, it is the Saints. Let's hope they are going to be that team this time around with the last potential timeout coming out here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's all being let out. Like I said before, it's easy to say, and it's probably common sense, no team wants to lose, but especially more so the Saints in this situation. They've been riding the high of being at the top of the collegiate scene for so long throughout the last semester and the end of it, even beyond, again, making their way to that land and taking it home. They want to cement the fact that they are the best collegiate team in Valorant and I know for sure they're more than capable of pulling through this victory as bleak as it may seem unfortunately though it seems pretty unlikely but time will tell whether or not they're able to pull it off yeah it is a very tall order for them to win seven rounds I would not fault them if they did end up losing this one as now it's a really big gap to close but I think they can do it I think they'll be able to win the next round or two but after that I think it's gonna get very very dicey for them mm -hmm. I think they really have to pull out all the stops whether or not they'd like to and they have to just go full force in Saints have one all to work with but more importantly San Jose State has none that I think the less they have to worry about the abilities coming out from San Jose State they'd be able to make some better decisions but as we saw in one of the previous games here you know they had a situation where the Saints were making a very strong comeback in fact it was game one where they ended up losing but just because they had three alts at the last possible round the Saints ended up losing it so hopefully they don't find a similar situation but at the very least they won't find one in this round they won't find one this round but maybe maybe 
I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. It's all up in the air from here. Things are looking very bleak for them. I think San Jose State could very well even take it here. Saints need to win this round, and then I hope their economy is in enough of a bad spot that they can take a couple more. But after that, I think Saint San Jose winning is just an inevitability at this point. Single have really held on to that Omen on for quite a while. Maybe even just use it for, uh, for some giggles here. Just to shake things up. Seth... Spraying down the box, being very thorough going into this B main push, but there's no one really there to meet them. It's a turret, that's all that's there. Meanwhile, well, Instinct has the weight of the world on his shoulders as it's just a ham and the Killjoy holding down this site, and only one of them has a rifle. Instinct, though, getting the Spark first pick as he off to a good start, getting a second pick as well. Smiley going in for the rotate as Caillou finds one, but John Hand trying to equalize everything gets one. But 2v4 is a too big of a tall ass to ask San Jose as the Saints are making a good stand here in this round. It's just John Ham, the madman himself. Can he do it? No, he cannot. Giza is going to end that round. 12 to 6. The Saints just six more to tie things up and make the dream come true. That is still quite a long road to recovery, however. Six in a row with all the alts, all the abilities, all the things that can go wrong in a game working against you. It would be a miracle if the Saints are able to pull this off. But there's only all we can do here, Matthias, is look at the game and yell as if the game continues to go on another round the Saints get to keep fighting let's see how they choose to fight yes let's see how this one goes it looks like K3K gonna get the first pick and now Smiley having to deal with these arrows it's gonna be very hard to push through but St. Clair now burning that ult very early into the game not gonna get all too much use out of it especially the man down this is going to be a very difficult climb back Enemy up tag. into this round. Smiley pushing through, taking out the turret, taking out a lot of util from that Killjoy. That Killjoy now has the lockdown. That is going to be a very powerful alt, especially this late into the game. Yeah, the rotation's coming up from San Jose State now. They can go right through mid, not even hesitating. They know it's open, they know it's available, and they come around that corner, they find the, the empty-ish A site, but around that corner is waiting. He's uh, gonna find the back, finding two. Yuri, before Yuri takes him down, 3v3 situation with one of them lagging behind. Smiley rushing over, but Caillou finding the head of John Ham. Khan is gonna go down too. Seth being the one to have the honor of putting him down, and Caillou putting down Yuri, the last man for San Jose State, 12 to seven. Saints are taking one more round with them before the end of this game. This isn't looking too bad now. Just five more rounds, that's all. That's pretty doable <laughs> for the Saints. They have an know. Odin as well on Caillou. Yeah, that is an Odin in hand, so, and they are, Thankfully, going to be able to utilize it on defense here. If it was attack, it'd be a different story. But leaving him to hold B site, as that's usually with Odin's the most effective. I was this a pickup or did he buy it? Do you know? I think it's a buy. Uh, he just bought it. Oh, a pickup. I think it's a pickup. So they at least they might know he has it. They're going to be able to play with that in mind. But the ultimates are going to get committed. They're forcing him back, forcing him to play a little bit scared. He's not going to be able to utilize the Odin this well as he stows out that shock dart. They're coming out the corner. They're pushing him, getting aggressive. He's still able to take down one. Instinct taking down another with help from his team. And the rest of the Saints are rotating back over to B site. They're going to take down Seth. Instinct's going to take down Cade. However, Giza is going to fall in the process. Instinct with that up. Is this a precarious position? But Kai. He's there to help him out. Behind that wall is the last member for San Jose State University. Taking out the knives to guarantee it. Instinct finding that clean one-tap kill. Taking us to 12 to 8. The Saints don't want to go down. Saints are refusing to die. They have the determination to keep themselves alive and in this. Right now, this would be the comeback of a century. If they can even bring this to an overtime, I would applaud them. But if they manage to win this, what a story we will have paired witness to. Now, looking at the alt economy, Saints have enough that they could even cycle some alts here or on themselves another round or two. And I'm sure they want to wait for even better combos. We have an op over on Instinct. He's going to be holding this one mid. This isn't going to be any old mid push. This is going to be a push right towards A main. 
be made indeed. And like you said, if the Saints pull this off, it'd be quite the game to bear witness to. But whether or not we'll bear witness to is going to remain on a lot of fact as the alt economy is slightly favoring the Saints right now. But that just means that each round goes on. That gap is going to get worse and worse for them. Each round that progresses means that San Jose State's one round closer to having alts on basically everybody. So it's a double-edged sword, the fact that they don't have to worry about the alts right now, but it means they'll have to worry about them later. Right now, Saints relatively split up. Only Caillou holding on B, but at least two team is close enough to be able to respond to the push that's coming up from San Jose State right now. Holding the line down with the Odin. Yuto's coming through. They know they're coming now. Sonar, Dart, can he find something? The smoke's going to go down to force him into a different position, but he's still spraying. And in fact, finds some decent damage. Non-negligible amount of these, and they are able to find him through the smoke just based off of the tracers from his shots, but he softened that team up. John Ham TPing in. The spike is going to go down. The Saints are going to be going through over to B now, but it's looking pretty daunting. Can they pull this off? Instinct picking up the Odin of his teammate, carrying the lightning bolt forward, and now they're just spraying it down, forcing them off of the back of B. They're pushing up through those little cards, but Seth taking down Cade. It's going to be the last man standing, and he was forced off the site because of that killjoy usage, and he's going to fall. Seth getting that last kill, and even if not, they were still most likely going to get the defuse anyways. 12 to 9, the Saints are holding on for dear life, but it's still a wild ride ahead of them. One less alt to help them alleviate the pressure that will inevitably come from San Jose State. They're nearly halfway through this marathon sprint to overtime. They needed seven rounds at the beginning of this, and they've earned themselves four. Only three rounds stand between them and overtime. And it feels like we're in overtime at this point because both teams are full buying time after time. I'm just worried who's going to slip, uh, if the Saints will slip up at all. Because they cannot afford to lose a single round. There's so much tension on the line here, and it's just about to break. But the Saints want to reel in this big fish. They're reeling, they're pulling, they're pulling it back, but Instinct's finding two. The fish is now on the deck, flopping around, and it's gonna be anything but a comfortable situation for all parties involved. Three to five, San Jose State, they still have their push alive. They still have a lot they can accomplish here, but one less member to worry about for the Saints makes it slightly more comfortable for them. Cave 3K with that Vandal in hand around that wall, just waiting for any any signs of life for him to spring into action. Can you do it, my friend? Smiley, waiting patiently. Nobody needs to move, so they won't. Nothing is going to spring these guys to life without some kind of reason. Instinct and Smiley holding the cross angles. This is going to be impossible to push through if you want to hold on to your head at the very least while his teammates holding off the backside. It's 40 seconds into this long, painstaking round, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. I don't see this one ending anytime uh -oh. soon either as San Jose really in a rough spot and the Saints not taking the bait right now. They've kind of figured out that San Jose strat is just to beat them up with these very slow, methodical gameplay movements. I mean, look at that guy who's going to get caught out just because they're getting eager. They just want these hits. They want these picks, but they can't quite Ten find seconds them. Left. Can't go searching for these things, especially when you have Ooh. the site locked down like they do. Really bad timing. Giza coming around that corner Last just as he was retreating, but he's still going to find the kill anyways. That's going to be the round for the Saints. They really want to find this last kill, however, and they get it. They're going to drop basically their entire team to do it, but they got that kill. If anything, at least for the pride of getting it with how much money that uh, you know San Jose State had in the bank, I I wasn't sure how much they had. That might have been why the Saints were so aggressive. They knew that they didn't have a lot of money to work with, so guaranteeing that they have no guns to go into the with the, going into the next round would force them to spend the little that they have, and that's exactly what San Jose State's going to do. They're going to use it to buy some cheap guns, but 
nothing too threatening. The Saints still have a lot to worry about. The ultimates are going to get committed. San Jose State, in fact, then used the knives right away on their jet and pushing up through mid. I think it's going to be a pretty clear path as nobody is holding it down for the Saints despite, despite the fact that they have the op in hand. They're also going to push at the same time over to A-Site, rotating up through mid catwalk. I don't know if they're going to be able to find anything without some resistance, but at the very least, it's a chance that they're going to take, and they can take it pretty comfortably. This team has the lead for a reason. They've done a lot of dirty work, and this is a, just another example of it. They're able to find their way onto the site underneath the Saints' noses Five without points. anybody even losing a drop of blood. This is looking very scary for the Saints right now. They're forced into the retake, but the Knives are not going to find their mark. Holy, but Saints, they're going on a killing streak. Three kills. Khan is going to finally take down Giza, but it's four to two here. The kill, uh, the KO ultimate is going to come into play, but I don't think his team is going to be able to get to him in time. Smiley walking around that corner, finding him, and he's going to get the kill. Saints, one round away from tying things up, but what's really going to be the deciding factor and whether or not they're able to pull it off, can they work through the alts that San Jose State have in store? Do they even have any? Let's see. No! So it's just raw Valorant game play that's going to decide who gets to walk away with their heads held high. Saints are going to have a lot of money work here, work with here. Every penny is going to get committed. No dollar spared. Same thing for San Jose State University. Everybody's going all out here. And let's see what these teams have in store. You have to also think about the absolute mental state of San Jose right now. They've been one point away for nearly seven rounds straight at this point. That's got to start to sting eventually. Oh, God. So hopefully they stay locked in. completely open. He's completely open. Maybe they like playing for this retake. A is completely open. The Saints, they're scrambling. They're trying to find their way back. But San Jose State, they're already on it. The only alt. No, and San Jose State, they have the Killjoy alt now. They can force the Saints away. That's exactly what they're going to do. It's going to go down. The only one they have on the side of the Saints is the teleportation alt. That's not going to do you too much. This alt is going to go off in three seconds. And the Saints are dropping like flies. But Source San Jose State, Caillou with the ultimate. Try to force him off. If you can get a single kill, he sees one, but no, it's just going to be chip damage, forcing his way. The Sword Dart is going to reveal them all, but no, they're going to take him down. At least he knows where they are. At least a little bit. They're going to jump through. Defuse them all. He's going to go down. Kai is holding it down. It's going to get halfway through. Can they get this done? It's a 2v3 situation. Halfway more. Can you go for it? Seth finds it. They get the overtime. The Saints on an eight win streak to bring this one back from the brink of oblivion. Oh. Back from the brink of oblivion it is now just two rounds away for either team and at this point you think what's two more rounds for the saint they have done seven in a row two more is nothing for them at this point but now they have to start on attack they have to get themselves reacquainted for cracking this puzzle they now have to be the ones to walk into the snake's nest and try and get that spike look, down. Look at the look at the scoreboard. That's, That's disgusting. Insane. Oh my god. I don't know how. I was getting ready to pack up and go home. <laughs> and this team's coming back. Trust me, I am not complaining. We have come this far. You at least better win here, gentlemen. Heading into this overtime like a train on a track, cruising around a mountain. Hope no red shells come for you and knock you right off. Because this San Jose State team has been just that. The Saints have not been able to get anything done easily, but that last round was the complete and total definition of chaos and the Saints were still able to pull through. I'm sure they're feeling confident, but I hope not too confident but if they weren't before, they probably are now. Getting the first entry frag is what they needed to get themselves a path over to B-Site. They're going to be rushing in, spike in hand, and only one person on the back of the site. The rest of San Jose State they're scrambling back towards it, but wall bangs coming through, fighting through the box. Two, now four, five kills in a row to bring it back. San Jose.
Jose State showing you how it's done. 7 HP is all he had left, but it was more than enough to get the job done. And do the Saints have one more defensive round in them? They've run the seven round marathon. Do they have one more? You don't want to let it slip between your fingers just so quickly like that. That has got to be the worst start to a round after such a good run. You cannot let that affect your mental. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at potentially the biggest thing since the moon landing. 1969 has nothing on 2024 when it comes to high stakes situations. I couldn't even care less about the outcome of the Cold War when it comes down to the outcome of San Jose State University versus St. Clair Saints Varsity Valorant. Everything is on the line in this next round. If the Saints can pull it back, I think my throat won't make it into next week. It will be completely torn to shreds. Let's go and hopefully we can see soon what this next round has in store, but I don't like it either way. I don't like this one bit. I hate it when games are this close, and you asked for this. I, I did you. ask for this. I got what I asked for, and the Saints are making it interesting. And now, we're potentially going into our last round, unless the Saints can bring this to a 13-13. I don't know which way this is gonna go. This is why I love Valorant. This is why I love esports. I love when the games are this so you know what? dang close. I don't even love Valorant. I'm quite on the opposite <laughs> side of things, but it's got me in its grips right now, and I am forced to stare because my curiosity cannot let me get away from this game. Smiley holding something in his hand here, something nefarious indeed, but San Jose State even more nefarious. They got something in their eye here, and it's not a fly or an eyelash. It's the optimism for a win, but Caillou behind that smoke, letting the Odin speak for him. Giza turning around the worst possible time. They make the run of the catwalk and take him down. Kaheem takes him out, and now San Jose State, they punch their ticket to a clean plant, but behind them, however, is Instinct taking them all out. It's 2v2. It's an open opportunity. Caillou is just in there through the smoke with 16 HP. He's going to TP out into safety. The spike is down. It's 2v2. It's moments like this that turn boys into men. Can't you pull through with your brother on the other side? Seth goes down. It's just Caillou, and now it's just nobody. San Jose State oh. take the game, and St. Clair College, despite the valiant effort, are going to go down in this round. Unbelievable. And just like the outcome of the Cold War, the Soviet Union seemed to fall out of nowhere, just like the Saints Woo. have fallen in this match. Unfortunately, after such an amazing run, the Saints could not get anything in the overtime. <sighs> what a terrible way to end it if you're a Saints fan. Uh, honestly... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that kind of, <laughs> kind of sucks. I was going to try really to make bad. it out. Yeah, it was a very close game. Very entertaining at the very least. You know, we on the broadcast side of things have no complaints, but unfortunately not able to take the win. I know the table is pretty upset right now. This little bolt came loose. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you know, I'll, I'll worry about that afterwards. But to wrap up that game, you know, some shenanigans took place game one. Um, less shenanigans took place game two. And game three was the ultimate compilation of shenanigans going through and through. Exactly. It was a very close game. Game one, I think if that game one went differently, we would just be going home a little bit earlier. But the Saints and San Jose both gave it their all. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was amazing. Amazing roller coaster of emotions. But unfortunately, or unfortunately for San Jose Blue Team, they have taken this one advancing forward in the tournament, either sending the Saints home or sending them to the loser bracket, which they don't want to call their home, but it will be their new home if it is waiting for them there. Saints losing that last game, but leaving an impression in all of our hearts and minds just goes to show the spirit that this team has, and they're always ready to impress. But Matthias, that was all the action we had here today, but it was still plenty of an action to last us a lifetime. Of course, it wouldn't be a Saints stream if we didn't thank everybody involved and of course we're going to start off with our sponsors subway tim hortons hyperx the st Clair college src and the st Clair college alumni association thank you very much to tommy dan amanda and of course thank you matthias mothais talbot it's always a joy to neil betterson mcgee brown <laughs> <laughs> at the end there. I know you probably forgot that last part, but regardless, we are going to wrap things up here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you very much for staying tuned. We hope to see you guys um, in the future. In fact, 
You know, I never say this. Follow the stream if you aren't already. Okay, we see a lot of new faces around here. <laughs> you should be following for sure if you aren't already, and maybe even subscribe. And I'll, of course, follow our social media on all platforms. No need to even bring up the little screen there because everybody knows you can find us on Saints Gaming CA on all platforms like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm not even sure if anyone uses that still, <laughs> but of course, you can find us there, YouTube as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us, and we hope you have a fantastic evening.